Yo, yo, AIM Pine, also very lizard. Very happy Wednesday, my friends. How are we doing? How's the how's the mic sounding? I'm on my second laptop today. Give me a uh, thumbs up, thumbs down. Too loud, too quiet, just right. How we doing? Da na 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 da 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 da. Da na 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 da da na na. Oh, welcome on in, everybody. A very happy Wednesday. Sounds good to you. All right. I think we got a. I think we got a deal then. Let's go. Good to be back. Boy, I've had a rough, uh, rough last couple days dealing with a uh, definitely some flu-like symptoms. Back today, feeling not not feeling a hundred percent, but uh, feeling feeling better. I guess it's the kind of day where, like, I I felt so awful the last two days that today, today is just like you know a revolution. Uh, feeling you know seventy five percent is like a, a completely amazing day. As uh, so the last two days, I was pretty much uh, laying in bed. It, it was really rough. I haven't had a sickness quite ever like this, where I I was literally in in pain all the time. I had this weird body pain. Everywhere. Just all body pain and a massive headache that just wouldn't go away. And I'm not someone who ever has headaches. And so it was just a really weird, uh, really weird kind of sickness. But, uh, you know, the good news is I am feeling better. I am on the mend. I'm glad you guys are here. Good to see you, Frisky. And we have these PlayStation State of Play today. Da, 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 da. Let's see if we can find that. PlayStation State of Play 2024. Here it is, 47k watching. Let's bring this up. Encourages team play and smart team compositions as you look to defend the giant duck and his tiny dancer. These... I'll mute it for a sec while we uh, get the overlay set up. Hey, Ayla, great to see you. Very happy Wednesday. Thanks for the sub for a year. Happy birthday to you, my friend. And so this will be a window capture for the state of play here. And uh, we're going to start things off today by uh, enjoying the PlayStation state of play, and then we'll get into Chrono Trigger after that. And uh, thanks a lot for the 12 months, Isla. I, I am feeling better. It's funny, it's a relative kind of better, right? I'd say I'm like 75% today. But 75% uh, is, uh, is still a whole lot better than I was feeling. Others I had fun with included Mel T, who, despite sounding like a long lost member of the Spice Girls, is in fact an ice cream loving young lady who deals big damage. To now, how are we doing on the volume? Are, are we good? Is this about the right volume for you guys? I had a good time with all eight of the characters and can see where each will hold their value in different game modes. And let's see, I don't want it to lag here. If I leave it on Chrome, I think it should be okay. Opportunities. It's There's lagging a, a little bit because too, of Chrome, I think. Let me see if I can fix that. Let's go, let's go with this. Let's try that out. Each showcase is a different part of Bar Vegas and is visually distinct from one There we go. Now I think we're now I think we're nice and solid. Play first in mind. They offer interesting architecture. Now we're we're a, this is good timing. We're a minute 40 away from uh, from the, the kickoff of the state of play. I think I'd like to I'd like to bump up the uh, settings here though. And seemingly afraid to embrace if we can handle it. Barrage by it at every turn in Foam Stars, which successfully marries Nintendo's charm with the. I'm on my second laptop today. I'm a little concerned. I don't know if I can handle it. <laughs> is the funny thing. I might need to run it on a little bit lower settings today. Wouldn't sound out of place in an Atlas. And so let's go for that for now. All right, cool. We'll get comfy, guys. We're going to enjoy the state of play to kick off the uh, stream. 
And then as soon as we're done with that, we're going to get right into Chrono Trigger, 100% glitchless. Fun, uh, fun hump day. Comfy kind of recovery type of stream. Little CT, little state of play sounds like a really nice, nice way to kind of, you know, kind of settle back into streaming. Man, it still is really laggy. Am I on? Hold on, let me make sure I'm not on uh, wireless. There's a chance I am. Let me turn off wireless, just in case that is an issue. And refresh. And it should be just in time for the kickoff. Are they chilling? I think we're just waiting here. I think we're literally, yeah, there we go, we're just waiting. So two minutes until the start, okay. Hey, Frisky, look at that big old 20 stream streak. Thank you, my friend, appreciate you. Well, how's everybody doing? I'm a man. I've had a, a rough two days. I have been kind of doing nothing but just nursing myself back to better health. How have you guys been? Good, good to be back. Good to be back streaming. I did do a little bit of de resting on Chrono Trigger, on my in my miserable state of affairs. I don't know what good it would have done. But uh, we are we are hopefully going to have kind of a nice, comfy de rest today. I'm hoping things look okay. You know, I'm not looking for perfection. I'm definitely don't think I'm looking for a PB. I'm just looking for a nice, solid, nice, solid run. Hey there, JJ. Good to see you. How are you? Not actually sure what all we are uh, going to expect from the state of play today. I think the expectation is that there might be something from Rebirth. As we are creeping on in, so let's go full screen here, or at least uh, go go theater mode. I guess I can take my splits down. All right, two, one, and go. Let's see if the quality looks good enough here, or if it doesn't stutter. And we're off. But I'm doing that, uh, doing good, JJ. It just feels good to be back, you know, it's in the saddle streaming for you guys again. You know, it sucks when my days off are days that, uh, let me know if it's too loud or, or too, uh, it sucks when my days off are occupied by having to recover, right? Because I so infrequently get a day off that I... That, you know, we, we I really want it to be one where I'm having fun. I'm not laying in bed all day, you know, being miserable. And that's what the last two days were. They were miserable. So, as unfortunate as that is, at least I'm just... I am feeling, you know, 75%. I think we're good to go going forward. I'm over the I'm over the sickness enough that you guys can count on streams every day going forward. And so that's the that's the really good news. Hey hey Colton, good to see you, my friend. How are you? Hell Divers too, huh? Hi everyone, I'm Herman Hulst, head of PlayStation Studios. Hi I'm Herman. Honored to present the first state of play of 2024. Hey Mule, good to the see you. The first three years of PS5 have given us incredible stories. Are, are you guys expecting anything during this uh, state of play? PlayStation Studios and our partners. The only thing I'm really looking for is uh, maybe Plus Rebirth, you know, another Rebirth PS5 trailer, and Street. potentially the and announcement of a demo and PlayStation Portal, which uh, that November, might be announced today. We're committed to a Rebirth demo would be pretty cool. To interact with their PS5. Yeah, 
Rebirth but demo. But none of this exactly. means anything without great games, like Helldivers 2, which kicks off a year of amazing experiences and diverse ways to play. Today, we're looking ahead to titles coming later this year and beyond, with extended gameplay and announcements we hope you might as check, exciting might as we check. do here at PlayStation. Ah, good, I can Enjoy see the raw the show. good, okay. A little Elden Ring DLC info would be cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that'd be cool. What if, uh, you know, Sea of Stars came out on, you know, is on PlayStation. Sea of Stars has DLC. But I would frankly kind of doubt we're going to hear about it. I think that's uh, a little premature. But we are kind of thinking about Sea of Stars uh, Throws of the Watchmaker DLC soon. Welcome to the world of Stellar Blade. The story begins on post-apocalyptic Earth, where a mysterious enemy called the Nativa has forced the human race to flee to an off-world colony. Players will take control of Eve, a member of the 7th Airborne Squad. Her mission is to save the planet by defeating the Elder Nativa. All we must do is complete the mission. While most of the 7th Airborne Squad is lost during their descent from the colony, Eve soon meets two new companions. Mm. Adam, born on Earth. Kind of action, action RPG, RPG type. Make like sure to stay cautious. It's where the Alpha and AT is. So this must be 8 or 7. Lily, a member of the 5th Airborne Squad, provides engineering support. Lily Artemis II. Then I can be your hey, Pan Glacial Worm, how are you she doing, puts my her friend? He puts her technical knowledge to use by upgrading Eve's equipment throughout the game. So much yeah. jiggle Done. physics going Something on here. Does feel different. Is that a complaint or is that like I, I am pre I have already hit the pre-order button? This is Zion. I'm bricked up. <laughs> A city built underneath the wasteland. Yeah, good the to see you, Glacial. Glad, glad you're here. I am on the mend. And, uh, Eve is called at least, at least feeling back to 75 today. Feeling close to normal. Not selling anything to you. They'll seem a bit wary at first, but will gradually loosen up as Eve shows a commitment to rebuilding the city. Hello, Angel. How are you? I see we have guests. Whoa. I can't believe the Angel is here. The survivors will sometimes ask Eve for help. Please save my younger sister. Wait right here. If I had nothing to do with time on my hands, I think I would enjoy playing a game Their like this. Their requests will often lead her to the wasteland and the great desert. Looks like a pretty neat story. Graphics look incredible. This place has been overrun by new teams. Da -na -da -na. Yo, Dizzle. And malfunctioning machines and robots. Da -da -na 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 -da. Da -na -da -na. I'm glad to be back, my friend. Good to see you. You'll occasionally find Appreciate the eight months in a row, my friend. How you been? I hope you survived the uh, the, the three day hiatus. Acquire new skills. Upgrade equipment and more. I mean, it has a neat-looking skill a tree. It, to restore her health. it looks like just your your very typical AAA rated action RPG. And other non-human beings who may. I mean, yeah, like this is a pretty cool-looking game, Colton. I, I I like this. I just I know my time well enough to know I don't have the time for a game like this. As much as I I think I would enjoy it a lot. Eve will sometimes encounter hostile survivors. Hey there, Bear Ravioli. Good to see you. Yeah, yeah, nearly, nearly. Something worse. The P Town flu apocalypse of 2024. Eve, what are you going to do after you defeat the Alpha Nativa? I got a lot of hydration. Squad members exist for one sole purpose. It's been my main thing is trying to hydrate through the, the flu. It's hard to do, man. It's hard to stay ahead of hydration when, you, when you're when you're feeling feverish and you're sweating a lot. Man, it's tough. It's tough. It is not an easy fight. It's fine. But I've got an electrolyte, electrolyte beverage. I have another power raid. Like I have two more waters. I am well. I am going to hybrid. I 
I can feel the hatred, but I cannot feel the source. I will find it, and I will make it pay. Open it! It's windy! No more lies to blind my eyes to Is the video feed smooth for you guys? It's a collapse! Or is it stuttery? You know, I know I tested. It was not COVID. At least, you know, came back negative. And stuttery, is it? Okay, I'm kind of noticing that too. I could hold on. Let me see if going down to uh, a little bit here and there. Yeah, I'm on my other laptop today for Chrono Trigger, and uh, Chrome almost overloads this thing when I run it with OBS. That's just kind of how it goes. Let me see if I can fix it by doing that. That's yeah, looking a little better now. I mean, it's lower quality, but frankly, I, I don't really care. I just want to see the news about what we're looking forward to. Alright, well, it's smoother now. At least that's good. I know, it's really weird. This is my, my old gaming laptop. I bought it like four years ago and streamed on it until this year. It functioned as like my streaming PC and got me through partner on Twitch. I mean, did all that for three years. Everything we did on an $800 MCI gaming laptop. And, and really, it's the kind of thing where like running a game and running OBS and running Chrome is more than it can handle. It just barely hangs in there. But it looks like on 480p, I think we're okay. Hey, JC, how you doing? Enjoy the work and the drive and lurk. How you doing, Mule? How you doing, Thirif? Well, we got a new Sonic coming our way. All you Sonic fans out there. Wow, skateboarding Sonic. How oh, cool. I don't know, is, are you expecting Sonic Generations? Is that... Wow, what is this? Oh, this is like a whole new world of Sonic. Whole new universe. This is like uh, Marvel. It's like this is like if Marvel Cinematic Universe made a Sonic game. Wow. Generations, yeah. That looks really. I mean, the boy, just the the beauty of it. Really amazing. <laughs> what is this? This is a dating game. What is this thing? Of course, we're all here for Rebirth, news about Rebirth, but, uh, again, if you guys have anything else you're looking forward to, feel free to let me know. I'd be interested to hear it. If you got your eye on anything interesting or exciting that you're looking forward to today. Hey there, Ant. Good to see you. We need another crazy taxi. I'll keep my eye out. I missed that one, apparently, in 2023. Yeah, don't worry, we're gonna do, uh, get right into Chrono Trigger as soon as we enjoy our state of play here. I don't know what that was, I lost interest uh, early enough that I didn't even watch. Uh, Foam Stars, another one I do not care about. Any Foam Star players out there? It's kind of a neat looking game. Definitely not not my kind of not my kind of jam. <laughs> this seems like it would be a kind of a party game, I would think. Party with friends, that kind of thing.
not actual gameplay. Is this Dave the Diver? I think this is Dave the Diver, right? Yeah. I've been considering getting this game, actually. Just to have fun in my free time. I know I know it has a DLC plan, day I am. Yeah. I think if if Sea of Stars like had not been my game of the year, I would have probably chosen Dave the Diver. I've really enjoyed watching other streamers play play this game a lot. Very chill, looks very like very um It just looks like the game that's designed around is having a lot of fun. And what on earth Godzilla DLC? What what is this? I did not expect that. <laughs> nice. That might have been the last thing I expected for the DLC to be. into more DLC here. Rising. Hmm, huh? brand new game. Cool. Hi everyone, I'm Sean Benson. This next game is a result of a very close partnership with Konami and marks the return of a horror franchise that has been with us since the original PlayStation. Hmm. Let's take a look at what's next Konami? for Silent Konami? What is that? I was gonna say Silent Hill, okay. Some new horror content for the fans out there. <laughs> you say Maybe Konami, I, I say Konami? Is it pronounced Konami? I'm not sure I've ever played a game from, from that studio. I don't believe I've ever played Silent Hill. Here goes. Is this a dream? Who's there? What's with this place? Cherry blossoms bloom. Within the grasp of death. What are you hiding inside? So they do Metal Gear, Castlevania, Silent Hill. The oh, they're DDR. Bomberman, Yu Gi Oh! Okay. Mm -hmm. I remember that. I would play that as a kid at my local Chuck E. Cheese on arcade. What did everyone attack with? What did Homer attack with? And what did Bart and what did what did I don't remember what all four Simpsons characters attacked with? But boy, did I love that game as a kid. A couple couple years, I remember playing a lot of that. 
anytime we'd go to Chuck E. Cheese. That, and of course the Turtles, the Turtles game. Yeah, Bart's was a skateboard. I think you're right. I don't remember what, the, what, uh, what, you know, Lisa and Homer had, though. Homer had a bowling ball. He would have a bowling ball. That would be that would be appropriate. I can't think of anything for Lisa other than like a a book or a ruler. Or... Homer had the hammer and Lisa had the jump. Oh, the jump rope. I don't know why that sounds familiar. I think you're I think you're right there. I think you're right. The jump rope. Yeah. Space. Look at that, a piece, a piece sign spaceship. It's kind of cool. Sending a message of galactic peace out to the stars. And I have a feeling that's not how this game's gonna go. his fist, Marge vacuum, Lisa jump rope bar skateboard. Gotcha. <coughs> Thank you, my friend. Looks pretty scary. Looks pretty scary. Really, they were Combo moves? Wow, way ahead of its time. Judas. Well, all the horror fans out there are probably going to love that. Very spoopy, yeah. of this fire as a beacon its warmth its energy now focus your mind on your wife and step into the fall why hello there tinny bell Subscribing for 10 months on a 10 month streak. How are you, Tinny Bell? Happy Wednesday to you. Thanks a lot for the streak. Nearly a birthday. Nearly a big Tinny Bell birthday. Do I need to get you a gift or something? I think I'm going to get Tinny Bell a gift for their, their birthday. I'm going to get them a big bag of nothing. And send it to them, just like they sent me for Christmas. You're making meatloaf. I love meatloaf. I haven't had it in years, though. I haven't had meatloaf in years. If I could come over, I would love to come over. I would, I would totally enjoy some meatloaf with you and Fred. Uh, that's why we're all here, Carl. We're here for the uh, potential rebirth uh, news. 
You, you haven't missed anything yet. I haven't missed anything yet. What the heck? We have some uh, hands that are uh, rather disembodied here, chat. <laughs> what? Oh, it's VR. VR, got it. Can I gloat, Carl? I mean, sure. Gloat away. I, I knew it, I knew it. Liverpool 4, Chelsea 1. Yep. That's right, big Liverpool fan. Hey there, Mr. Shep. Goes a little better than it was the last two days of laying in bed with the flu, but uh, doing good, doing better today. Hope you are doing well. I have to imagine if we're going to hear about rebirth, we're going to we're going to hear about it last. It's going to be the very final thing they show off, right? I make moves. I had a rough two days. It was literally uh, just intense body aches and an incredibly intense headache for like a day and a half in a row. But I'm um, at least feeling the headache is not gone, but it's subsided today. The body aches are almost over. So I'm about 75%, but I'm, I'm good enough to get back to straight. I, I took a COVID test, came back negative. But, you know, I've had I've, I've had tests come back negative before, and boy, looking back on, I sure felt like it was COVID. Hey, Doe-Eyes. Great to see you. Good. Hope you're doing well. Make manifest your will. So, interesting you bring that up, Commander Shep, as on your recommendation during my days of laying in bed uh, hating my life, I played the Graham Blue demo that you recommended. I enjoyed it. I thought it was fun. Looks like a looks like a cool game. It was a very short demo, though. Very short. Very short. Hard to get a good feel on the game, I felt. But for what you could enjoy, I very much enjoyed what I, I enjoyed what I saw. I don't know if I would consider playing it yet, but yet. But I I, I am more likely to consider playing it having watched that. I will definitely say that. Mm, the demos stand alone? I see. Okay. I uh, checked out three demos when I was recovering, basically, yesterday. Grand Blue, Prince of Persia, and Live... Is it Live Alive or Live a Live? Or Live a Live? I have no idea. Whatever the uh, kind of proto Chrono Trigger game was. I checked that out, too. Didn't really enjoy that as much, but I did enjoy the Chrono Trigger vibes I got from is it like live alive? Like, I just don't understand the second live there. Is it live a live? What, what are they trying to do with this? But it was kind of neat. You could see the uh, inspiration for Chrono Trigger, like a live a life. But it's a V. It's a double V. Oh, it's live. It is live. Live, uh, live. Okay, gosh. Live. That's weird. Live, uh, live. Uh. Definitely did enjoy the 
kind of seeing where maybe the inspiration for it came from. I guess a lot of the development team for Chrono Trigger was involved in Live or Live. Very much enjoyed Prince of Persia. That thing was a gem to play. Yeah, I gotcha. Got Prince of Persia, though, was a delightful game. I would never play it live on stream, but that is the kind of game I think I really enjoy offline. And if I'm ever looking for nice uh, gaming content. Beautiful and tons of fun. Tons of fun. Another demo, though, that was very short. Like, I was done with that in 15, 20 minutes and uh, nearly bought it. I enjoyed it so much on the spot. Decided I'd sleep on it, though. First. Rise of the Ronin. Forge your fate. Well, I haven't seen anything I... I like, I'm like, wow, it looks terrible so far. I've seen a lot of very intriguing games, just not games that I'm going to play. A lot of horror. Looks like horror fans are going to love this uh, state of play. And this feels like another horror. I mean, action RPG fans have been definitely satisfied, I think, from this so far. Haven't seen a single, or, like, single kind of game that I would play though. Definitely that I would scream. I haven't seen a single one. You have to accept this in order to move forward. So what do we have here? Is this Chucky or... Everything you Why does this remind me of Chucky? Now on will open doors to the future. The choice is yours. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. I feel like that voice actor is very familiar. Oh, it's Saw, isn't it? No, Until Dawn, huh? I thought it was gonna be a Saw game. With that mask. I guess that's, wasn't, that's not quite Saw. But, uh, interesting. That's very scary. One is with the hands around her mouth. What is going on there?
That's not right. He didn't. This is the Metal Gear Solid director. What on earth? Holy. Welcome to Drawbridge, Sam. And to the GHV Magellan, our mobile base of operations. Come on, I'll help you get your bearings. This right. is the ship's This armor. is, uh, this is like uh, Death, Death Stranding, is what it reminds me of. Oh, is this Death Stranding 2 or something? These rooms over here belong to other members. Well, of there, the there is, uh, there's our guy. They're pretty much the same as yours. This has to be Death Stranding, huh? And the shower's down at the end. I was gonna say, so definitely, definitely had, had similar see the UCA, I'm guessing. vibes. Wow, no. I didn't know they were uh, intending a sequel. Outfit. But we do have a generous patron with access to plenty of capital and tech. Sounds like a UCA big shot. Don't ask me. We've never met face to face. I don't know why, but Death Stranding to me felt like a game that Seriously? had to be unique. Better than to believe that bullshit. That would not have a sequel. I don't know why I assumed that. It just was it's such a unique kind of game. I just assumed that you would never would see another one. Spread out. But here, here Cut we go. From one another. We want you to help us bring the world together. <clears throat> Sam, would you mind if I join you? Humor him. Hmm. His knowledge and experience will probably come in handy down the road. <laughs> yes. What on earth? Really, Sam? Your buttocks? What about shotgun? I prefer the driver's seat. <laughs> Sam, do you read me? You'll first need to access the Mexico side plate gate terminal. After we've confirmed network coverage, we can take the DHV Magellan and regroup at your position. The problem is, not everybody wants to be part of the UCA. That's not the plan, Sam. The UCA isn't looking to expand its borders. Just like with Mexico, they want to bring new regions into the How much the do you guys think Norman Reedus makes for a game like this? Anyway, the DHV Magellan's here to Do you think they pay him like a like a movie? As always, you'll be the one leading the way to expand the network. Like, do you think he makes as much as Would like, you, you know... All this? You're the commander, huh? I have, I have right. no idea, but I have to imagine These a lot of money here. I would think this is a big deal for him. You brought America together. You think together. It, you think it's in the millions? How That's what I was wondering. Is if he's like making see? millions for doing the voice acting here? But I'm it would not surprise me. It would not surprise me at all. I think I would have said that too. I think the I would have said two mil. Danger. Still on the brink of extinction. Don't act like you don't see it. A lot of things changed after. Holy cow! Look at it's a hand. Especially within the UCA. Bridge is no longer oversees the distribution network. They withdrew once things were up and running. I never so played Death Stranding, but it is another ways. game that I would love to play if I had Even the time of my coverage, life. There's no need to rely on you but it's also the kind of game that feels so vast so and big, shop, like, I'm almost I intimidated to, to begin, One to even begin a game like that. Outside the UCA. We decided to call ourselves Drawbridge. With the support of the Chiral Network and APAS, humanity will be free from the need to move around. Bots are capable of handling deliveries. He's alive. This he is unexpected, ghost, though. Unexpected and very cool back to see. From the beach just so he could kill us. At least I sure didn't expect it. He said he came back to get revenge on you and me. Hey, brother. You miss me. Yeah, I figured you'd pay this place a visit. Seeing as how I've been distributing the fruits of this fine factory all over the continent. With guns and violence, the whole damn world could be yours. Same as it ever was. Oh. Looks like you decided to trade in that rope for a stick this go round. Well, I suppose even a porter has to pull the trigger from time to time. Oh, what about you? Hey, buddy. Are you just another soulless little husk, huh? Let go of me! Oh. Pathetic guitarist, where's the rest of your band? Hmm, <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Mids Mickelson they brought back. 
Guillermo del Toro is a voice actor, too. In Death Stranding 2. Well, ain't that something? I was trying to figure out if this guy is... Uh, was it you, Hicks? He sounds familiar. Huh? Was he L. Fanning him? is a voice actor. You still don't know, do you? <laughs> Fuck! Um, I don't see a Troy... Yes, Troy Baker is here. Troy Baker. Is listed as a voice actor. Troy Baker, Leia Sedu, returning. If he won't answer, Sam you're Porter have to Bridges is the character Norm Reedus' report is returning the ones as. You do find well, that pain you nurse will only get worse. Sam the man in the dark about everything. New to the cast is L. Fanning. Coming on this expedition was meant to help you find the strength to carry on. And you have. We all know you've got this. And she only now cut it's time to finish the journey. Katsuna. Who was in Deadpool 2. Please understand, Sam. And Melia in Xenoblade Chronicles. Hm. We never meant to string you along. That chrysalis, we found her inside. It was filled with a fluid that contained amino acids. One's identical She's a Bond to the girl. kind found gotcha. in tar. I'm sorry, there are amino acids in tar? <clears throat> this in is a Death Stranding 2, do I? Of course. How else did you think that Carl This looks really, really cool. I mean, the Some story is... Some uh, theorize that the tar is a sort of... Primordial it's really ne soup. Definitely ne different. Very oh, next level I here. Saw her home. Hey, it Faust. Thanks for the 65 stream watch stream. You see, after you left Bridges, I decided to do a little digging. Now, according to them, BB-28 was flagged for disposal and subsequently incinerated four years ago, long before you and Lou first met. Boy, that was like a movie. Hmm. Or that was my with me today is favorite legendary game creator and founder so far. of Kojima Productions, Kojima Song. Hi, hey, welcome. So today, here's Mr. Kojima. I'm excited to announce that together, as part of the PlayStation and Kojima Productions partnership, Hideo is going to take us on an exciting new adventure, one that I've been encouraging him to reinvent for years. Hi, uh, original IP になります. え、準備を始めてますけども、え、デストランディング 2 a new action espionage game by Hideo Kojima. This is one of my favorite genres, one that I've been hoping you would revisit with a bold new vision. Can you share anything else about this new development? <laughs> え、もちろんインタラクティブなゲームなんですけども、え、ルックものがたりテーマ、キャスト、演技、ファッション、サウンド、え、どれをとっても、え、同時に映画でもあるようなものです。え、本作で、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え
should be soon. Was that the end of the state of play? And no rebirth? Before we go, I have one final announcement. State of Play will return it February is. 6th with an extensive no. look at Final Fantasy VII. Oh, okay. Square Enix will be sharing new gameplay details along Here. with exciting news you won't want to miss. February 6th? The show. See so you soon. in a week, in one week, they're going to have a special one-off? A special one-off Rebirth special. Huh. Okay, I mean, I can dig that. I certainly can dig that. <clears throat> so, nothing but Rebirth. Well, I guess we have another uh, special... I guess we have another special event stream. That uh, we can uh, look forward to. Uh, that's exciting. That's exciting stuff. Alrighty then. Well, let me get uh, Chrono Trigger rocking and rolling here. I think we're looking pretty good. You booked a week off for Rebirth. <laughs> well, we're going to be playing it day one that it comes out. And I'm excited. I'm very excited. I still need to do my pre-order. I think I need to, I think I need to uh, decide if I'm going to get the, the, the collectors or the deluxe or the... Or, uh, you know, um, which, which one I'm going to go with. And we always want to watch the opening FMV here. So let's kill Chrono Trigger and boot it up anew. Just get both. Oh yeah, they're only a hundred and, and and more. I think the other one, hundred and fifty. I don't think I'm going with both, but uh, get the collectors for the Sefi statue. Yeah, right. Well, before we kick it off, remember I am under the weather today. I'm still recovering from the flu for two days. I'm about 75%. I'm going to hit the restroom real quick, and then we will get right into CT. Be right back. Um, or not? <laughs> Wait a minute, what happened there? Where did CT go? This is your favorite game intro? I know, me too. I'd love to watch it. Where is it? Donde esta? Hey, Subliminal. How you doing? Good to see you. Well, I'm get my controller going. Yeah, I could certainly ask for a copy, Shep. I was planning on doing that. I just haven't done it yet, actually. Ask for a uh, copy of Rebirth gratis. Here's where it crashed last time. Don't know why I would do that. There we go. It's hanging in there now. I will... I will be bold. And assume I can hit the restroom, BRB. Turn on the lights. Where is it? Did it bring it back? It doesn't like the FMVs, I guess. 
That's okay though, I'm not gonna be watching the FMVs today. We're gonna be going try hard, so no big deal. What do we think of that state of play? You know, my... My, um, opinion on that state of play is... I wonder if they just thought, like, adding in Rebirth would make it too long. I'm assuming. And so they just decided they needed to just nix it. Okay, Bluetooth. Let me get my controller going here. Well, it says paired, but I'm not showing you as paired. Alright, alright, alright. If you are really paired, why are you, why are you not showing as paired, controller? Hey there, dirty one. Good to see you. Welcome on in, awesome. Well, let's remove the device, I suppose. Fine. Add a new one, then. If you're really not going to connect. And where are you? There you are. Xbox controller. Try connecting your device again. Oh, lovely. Okay. Ready to rock and roll. All right. But is it really ready to rock and roll? No, it is not. God damn it. Come on, computer. This isn't rocket science. Sorry guys, bear with me. It was working fine before I started. Of course, now it's... Now it's being rather irritating. Of course, technology. What else is new here? Try connecting your device again. Yes, I am. Why are you... <laughs> All right, here. Okay, okay. Let's try it again. And... Okay, connecting. It's trying this time, at least. There, we're ready to go. Hallelujah. Oh, we're ready to go. Oh, my goodness. Yes, it is an Xbox controller. Alrighty, chat. Well, get comfy. We got Chrono Trigger. 100% glitchless. D-rest on the menu. I'm sure it will be rusty. But we're going to have a good time and a long time vibing to a complete CT run. I suppose I should throw in, like, no reset. Because that's the mindset, even if we're in the red today, we're not going to care. As, uh, you know, I've had three days, two two days of laying in bed. Doing, uh, doing nothing, and so, you know, I think a nice day vibing to CT. Is exactly what the, uh, exactly what the body and the soul needs. And so what time is it? It's about 3 o'clock. Well, hopefully we come in under 5 hours today. I mean, hopefully we come in quite a bit under that. And uh, just enjoy our enjoy our uh, our Wednesday. Now, what are we going to name Chrono Trigger? And it crashed on me. What is going on with CT here? This is very strange. 
Why is CT being like this? I mean, I hope it doesn't crash when we're uh, when we're in the you know, concern as it crashes in the run, right? But all right, I think we're going to be bold. We're going to assume that it will hang in there. And uh, look, it's black again. What is going on here, chat? Uh oh. I think I might have some problems. What is going on here? Why is it um, black screening? What a weird phenomenon. New game, wait, and it's in there. Boy, how strange. This is making me very nervous, but I guess we're going to rock and roll it either way. Hmm. Well, what should we go with for, um, for our hero, Chrono? We have any good recommendations, chat, that you guys would like to see? Hugh? Sea Dog. Hey, Skippy. Good to see you. Diago. P Town. Hmm. I don't think it matters in a Chrono Trigger run what you, what you name someone. It doesn't affect the time at all. I just hope the game doesn't crash today. What the heck's going on? And if it does, I'll probably just pause the timer, reload it, and uh, go. I mean,. Chances I get an actual PB today are very, very minor. More, we just want a nice, smooth D-rest. Goku. Mm, Squall. You have, you have five characters. That's it. You don't even get six. Very, uh, very stingy. We're the CT developers. Cloud. Well, what would be a good, uh, what would be a good in honor of today? Let's see. We could go Cloud. We could go, I mean, that is only five. We could see how Cloud uh, serves us. We'll see how our FF7 hero does for us today. Three, two, one, and go. May the crashes be uh, zero. I was going to say infrequent. How about zero today? Hey, Squish. Hope you're having a good hump day. Good to see you, my friend. Well, battle speed to three, memory to full. Hey, Armco. Good to see you, too. Wait, wait, wait. It's still a black screen? Oh, you know what? I think it's because I'm doing a game capture. It is why. Here, I bet this is why. I bet, I bet, I bet. These normally are... A window capture. I am almost certain that's why. I, I, I had forgotten that. I'm not sure why I was actually capturing in that way. That is 100% why. And so there, we've solved the conundrum. Nice, so well, I'm glad we figured that out. <laughs> Before we got too far today. Da -na 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 -na. As any time an FMV would occur, it wouldn't show it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, good. Uh, thank you guys for bearing with me here. Get our goals back up, and uh, I think we are now good to go. Chat background, I guess, needs to be a little, a little wider there, huh? There we go. Okay, alrighty. Well, should we like officially watch the intro now? Now that we can, it's make sure it works. I'm confident it will now, obviously. Let's do it. Here you go, chat. Watch the intro this time. If, if we can. Look at that. Hallelujah. Well, it hasn't actually. Let's see if we can watch the whole shebang.
Thanks for the Prime Gaming for two months, TMT Squishy. Mr. Squish, thank you very much. I appreciate you. I guess we did already watch this, didn't we? When I went to uh, hit the restroom real quick, so we're good to go. And so, new game, we'll go with... Had to continue with the gift sub? Well, here you go. We'll go... Squish. Well, I was gonna do Squish. I don't have enough... <laughs> I don't have enough... <laughs> Let's see. Squish. It'd be Squish. <laughs> Well, it froze the FMV now, dude. What is going on here? This is really weird. I don't know how to explain this. I don't really know how to explain this. Huh. I guess I'll skip the FMV. It's just making me nervous to do a run today. You know? That is making, that's what's making me a little nervous. I guess I will say we're not going to worry about it, and we'll just get right into it. Okay, we'll just go with Cloud as we were... As we were planning on doing... Dude, it froze it again, didn't it? Yes, it did. Wow, dog. Very, very interesting. For example, if I redo the window capture, what does it look like? Look at that, it's, it keeps it right there. What on earth? Like, that isn't correct. What is going on here? What is going on here? Hey there, Airborne, good to see you. We're, we're having some technical difficulties today. We need we need things to cooperate. Look at that. Yeah, look at that. It, it's still... It's like... I don't, I don't know how it's even remembering that. That screen no longer exists for me. Well, I don't know when I check config-wise here, Subliminal. How is it even recalling that that picture? Is my first question. Hmm. Okay. Well, I could I could go back to my main computer. Is what I could do. But uh, I fully expect things to be okay here. I just need to get into the run. Yo! Holy moly! Army retired! Coming in hot, says, darn these... What? Look at that! It still shows this! It still shows this! Army, how you doing, my friend? Thank you, thank you, thank you for the 10-pack of gift subs. You rock. And I hope you're having a great Wednesday, Army. We are trying to figure out a way to make this work here. And if you guys got a gift sub, enjoy, courtesy of Army Retired. How you doing, Army? Very happy Wednesday. How are you? And how is Bella doing? Very good to see you too, my friend. We're, we're going to get this to work. Don't worry. Don't worry. New gift badge today. What is that? What is that? That is a big ol' I want to say 750, right? Ooh, 600! 600 in the channel. Okay. Here's the weird thing. Why, why when I recapture as a brand new capture... Why is it remembering, you know what I mean? That, um, that screen. That is the weirdest thing. But thanks again, Army, for the very kind, uh, 
Very kind 10 subs. You were getting worried? Yeah, I've had the flu for two days in a row. Been a really rough two days, my friend. All right. Is it going to show it again? Look at that. It is. It is. Okay, delete it. Now, what if I do a display capture like I did before? Okay, if I, never mind. I'm in a, a game capture. Instead of a... A specific window of Chrono Trigger. Okay, there we go. Now we're in business chat. Now we got a run going. Lock that in. Send it to the bottom. There we go. Okay. Well, you know what? I think we know exactly what we're going to be naming now. We're going to be Army. No, we're going to go Bella, Army's dog. And hope that uh, we are good to go now. But uh, I'm 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 hanging in there, Army. Honestly, I'm probably about uh, probably about seventy five percent still today. But good enough to uh, get a, a nice, comfortable Chrono Trigger run in with our heroic, our heroic Bella as our Chrono. And thanks again for the ten subs, Sarah. Noting they returned to streaming. I've had the last three days off. Did not mean to take them off, but. Uh, I got, got hit really hard with a rough flu, and uh, I'll tell you what, it just feels really good to be back, good to be streaming today. And if something crashes with the overlay, can you guys make sure to let me know? As I'm probably not going to be looking at it, so it is incumbent upon you, chat. And it is incumbent upon you. If we have a an issue, make sure to let me know so I can, I can try to fix it right away, huh? Well, we gotta get the 200 from Luca's mother there, or our mother, after we name Luca. Uh, full. Yep, there we go. Battle speed to three, and memory to, uh, memory to full. It's like auto memory. Bella, that is the name of Army's lovely dog. Yes. We talked to Marley prior to uh, to getting the amulet there, and then eleven potions and three shelters. Da na 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 da na da na da na da na da na. Love the Chrono Trigger soundtrack. How's the volume, Chet? Are we nice and Gucci? How we doing? Looking pretty good to me. Da -na 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 -da -na. Da -na 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 -da -na. You took Bella from Robert Jordan's Wheel of Time. It's the main's trusty horse. So oh. very cool. Da, da, da. And Bella's been a good, trustworthy car. Well, I'm glad to hear it. it. Sounds like Bella is just a good all-around name. What we're learning here. I did do a couple of uh, couple of hours of de rest on just kind of the opening hour, hour and a half of Chrono Trigger, while I was trying to recover from the flu yesterday. And so, you know, hopefully we can at least get into the run in a, a decent capacity. I'm not looking to PB today. I think we're going to be in the red, you know, by a decent amount all day. 
for a de-rest, but uh, you know, we're just trying to vibe and have a nice, nice, complete CT run. And so that is uh, going to be fine. That's going to be fine for me. Her full name is Isabella Serenity. Love it. Hence the Bella. Da -na -na -da -da -na -na. Well, let's see if I can get in my early attack on the Blue Imp here. Mmm, Serenity's your favorite StarCraft, yeah. From Firefly, got in the early attack. Very nice. Hey, Nathaniel, thanks for the reminder not to lose to Johnny. Always a toughie there. Gotta watch out for Johnny. And we got Bird Skip. We'll do that four times, I believe, over the course of the day. Pick up the Power Glove there. And also the Strength Capsule. A little bonking. Should be... Should be a little better than that. Yonker is always an interesting split. And I'd probably have a pretty good start. To, uh, to the run. Yeah, you really should, Mega. Well, come on in. If you're a big Chrono Trigger fan, you should have a good time today. Hey, Bumper. P-Town CT runs. The classic, like a pizza with pimp. Two and three. I like the way you put that. What's my favorite game? That would be Final Fantasy VII. This is your favorite game. Well, you got a you got a good uh, you have very good taste. So I checked out Live uh, Live for the first time two days ago. Well, yesterday, I checked out the demo as I was trying to you know get over the flu. And they have a demo on the PS5 because they did a remaster, I guess, in 2020, and it was a really interesting experience checking out the Live a Live demo. Um, it was recommended to check it out by my community because it was like the game that like was the pre the proto Chrono Trigger It kind of like was the Chrono Trigger before there was a Chrono Trigger like the first attempt at it And it was very interesting. There's three different like story chapters you can do for live a live One of them is in space and it's 100% story exposition. I, I didn't like it at all but some of the other parts of the demo I found really interesting. I, I didn't really enjoy the demo much, but overall I could tell. It really gave me some major Chrono Trigger vibes, and I loved that about it. I really liked that about it. I, did, I don't think I'm going to play it, actually, once now that I've done the demo, but it was interesting to see the game that kind of was like the predecessor to Chrono Trigger. And you could tell it, it felt very CTS. Hey there, Devastrato. How are you? Power glove and the headband. Strength capsule, potion for shelter. Very nice menu. As we do two fights before the uh, the cathedral to unlock Cyclone, for and first one right here to get Cyclone for the second fight. And so hopefully we can get all three in here. Not always the case, and not the case today. So we'll just let Luca and Chrono clean up the 
detritus here. There you go, Luca. Thank you for that lovely crit, my dear. Appreciate you, Luca. Got on the live split today. Looking her sexy and smart best. And so now the fire whirl, which hopefully will be a nice speedy fire whirl. This is a lot, it's like a big RNG on this fight. Whether or not you get three fire whirl candidates or two or none, or one. Nope. And fire whirl by the two. Hey, that's fine. Boom, boom. And the two! That's a good Naga fight. That is a great Naga fight. Rock and roll. So we're gonna name or not name Frog. And then do our uh, traversal of all the Nagas, the Vipers. A lot of fights we're gonna kill in here to unlock Cross Strike before the... the Yakra split. Our first chapter boss fight. Well, Yakras are defined by a good Yakra is where he settles up, he, he can kind of move around the fight, actually. And the closer he gets to Frog, the more likely or he will not counter if he's by Frog. So for that reason, we're a big fan of him uh, getting nice and comfy, making good friends with Frog. As we get a couple things on the run into. Our first fight here, and then Aether Chrono and Flamethrower the both. Uh, Aether on you. And Flamethrower, you guys, and there we go. Fire World by two here, gotta do this fight twice. Good, good, good. This is uh, the reason why you get cross strike twice, is doing this fight not once, but exiting, re-entering, and then doing it another time. And good. Couldn't figure out the piano. <laughs> yeah. It's alright, I'm sure learning this game, I was in the same boat, my friend. You know, I've played Chrono Trigger for the first time this year. Yo, lo! I mean, not this year, but last year. To start off 2023. And uh, boy, was I happy I did. So much fun. Well, we'll fire world the two, and we'll clean up with Frog and uh, the crew here. <clears throat> nice crit and a chrono, there we go, that gets through him. We'll get the Iron Sword, and then it is Shelter, Steel Saber, Iron Sword on Chrono and Frog. Shelter, Strength Capsule, and Yakra Time. And I think we've had a pretty good chapter here. Just looking for slow is steady, slow is smooth, smooth is fast today. That's the mindset. And so... Uh, boom, spent capsule, and go, and this could be an okay start, actually. If we just have a steady fight, and maybe a couple nice non-counters thrown at, it, at us in here, too. And so we need Cross Strike by 6, and if we need to, a Potion from Luca, and then also she kind of often will need an attack to finish off Yakra at the end. 55 degrees where you're at today? Well, you're probably, you're probably happy about that. As it was mighty cold, brother. There we go. Number one. K 
counter. So number one. Uh, potion on you. Number two. Non-counter. Number three. Uh, number four, please live. Uh, number five. And number six. And this will be an attack for the win. Very nice. Started in the green. <clears throat> Go us, chat. Go us. Definitely did not expect to be off to a green start. Rock and roll. That's the benefit of just a little bit of preparation. Did like an hour and a half yesterday. Just to try to kind of knock some of the, the pretty thick rust out of there. Which was pretty thick. Last run we did came in around five hours. We had a lot of crashes though, and uh, and uh, so that didn't do us any favors. But but uh, looking a lot better today. And so let's go, chat. We got Dragon Tank coming in next. Da na 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 na. Dragon and Dungeon Split coming in next. One, two, three. And a very, very technical fight. Need to be precise, need to be on point. You're going through your 30 day detox, February 2nd. Right on. Well, hey, enjoy yourself until, uh, until then. Probably good to do a detox every once in a while. I guess I'm doing a doing a, a a PBR detox as I've been abstaining during the flu and, and tonight too. Gotta gotta be healthy. Gotta be smart. Gotta take care of the body, right? You guys are like, man, you are sick, P Town. Not even PBR. Boy, we need to send you to the emergency room. Thank you, Subliminal. We got a prediction going. All you CT uh, gamblers, get your bets in, get your bets in. Appreciate you, sub. Wow, that is a lot. That is a lot, my friend. I think a, a nice little 420 hiatus will probably do you some good. I don't think that is an excuse, Battler, no. Just because you have a job that is 420-centric doesn't give you license to go through a court every two days. That's a lot of smoking, my friend. Holy cow. That's more than I think I ever did in college. And boy, I smoked a lot in college. Hey, Glizzy. Good to see you. Yes, it can be measured in quarts, as in a quarter ounce. Quarter ounce. Eighth quarter, half pound. Or, I mean, ounce. Uh, uh, oh, you guys are all confused. A quarter is just a quarter of an ounce. So. An ounce is 28 grams, so that would be 7. Well, let's see if we have a lucky courtroom today. Oh, 
We'll see if we are drawn and quartered here in court. I see I, a courtroom. I see what you did there. How you doing, Midnight? Are we going to court a non-guilty verdict? Another good one. I love how the, the cheering, the, or jeering, if you will, courtroom uh, spectators, I like how they're identical, flipped mirror images of themselves, right? It's the exact same scene, just, just reversed like a mirror. Are you going left or are you going right? He's going right for the six second time loss, huh? Trying down CBD gummies and you had Nightmares Army? Well, I think that means it's probably not a good idea then. Gotta try it to find out. More you know, you know. Dana, Dana. Yo, Battler with the gift sub to Menaitan. Who now gets to enjoy Chrono Trigger ad free all night long. Alright, I just had to figure out my pause button there. Just in case the game crashes today, I literally will pause it. Because I'm kind of suspicious we might have some crashes today. Since I don't expect a PB, I don't care if it's submittable. So I, what I prefer is just I want to know how I'm comparing to my, my PB. That's what I want to know. Like, how rusty am I? How much work would it take to try for me to think, okay. If I want to, if I want to get back and legitimately have a chance at PB, you know, how close am I today? And so, if the game crashes, that's going to mean I just can't figure that out. And so, what I'm going to do if that occurs, I'll just pause the timer, restart the game, and we'll just start it up again when we get back to where it crashed from. So, if that's all Gucci with you guys, that's the game plan. I hope it doesn't crash, and I, you know, that's the that's the expectation. But we were sure having some issues here earlier. And so if we do encounter that, that'll be the way I handle it. So we refill our HP and our MP. Be as annoying as possible until the guards have had enough. Have had enough and uh, are so mad they're going to come in and, and, and take us out. But oh wait, they left our sword on us! Oh no, maybe they should work on that. Might want to take that away next time. You know, I'm just saying. Just saying, it might be a smart move in a prison. But hey, it's not my job to tell them how to do their job, right? Alrighty, Shep, have a good veg, take care. See if we can sneak past the guards twice, guys. Got the first one. Very nice. It's not hard, but it is a little luck and you know a lot of luck involved here. Yo, Ramza, CT hype. Whoa, what the 10, 10, 10. Pack of gift subs, Ramza. Great to see you. You know, Ramza more, it's just back to see you now that I'm feeling better, my friend. Feeling uh feeling better. Two days of just laying in bed, recovering from the flu sucked. And thank you, my friend, for the very kind 10-pack of gift subs. If you guys got a lucky gift sub, enjoy your ad-free viewing. We're going to do it on six and rock and roll. But yeah, man, I'm back to about 75% today. And uh, Zella, Hans, Valent, everyone else, if you got a lucky gift sub, enjoy your... Add free Chrono Trigger courtesy of Ramza. <clears throat> Lucky you guys. Hype Train is so close. Man, that'll be a level like five Hype Train right out of the rip. And so let me try to focus on Dragon Tank. Get us through here. Yo, Thirith, thank you for the biddies, my friend. 
All right, four each and then the Psycho. Here we go, chat. Number one, crit. Lovely. And maybe if we get another crit, we can do an early cycle. Okay, two out of Chrono. We have to wait for his ATP to fill. I mean, one more crit. Nope, okay. And so it looks like a standard fight here. No, he healed! Ooh, is that going to... Oh, he's still killed. Lucky me. Ooh! I think we're good then. Fire Whirl. Then Cyclone, and then Fire Whirl. Only question is, is someone going to die? And the answer is, of course. And that's RNG. Nothing you can do about that. And there we go. Nice fight. Nice fight. And through Dragon Tank. Very good chapter. Very good chapter. Oh, look at you guys popping off a level 4 hype train. Thank you, Theorit. Thank you, Ramza. Thank you, uh, guys, for the hype train. And if you guys would like some nice Twitch emotes, one, two, three, all aboard. As we get the nice four second time save by snacking past the guards there. Go us. All right. Well, we're going into the future. Looking good today. Good job. Good to be back on the uh, Chrono Trigger airwaves. Good to be back hanging with the community after three days off. You know, that's the best thing for me. I miss it when I'm not hanging out with you guys. I gotta give sub on it. And Dad Hammer, enjoy your ad-free viewing all month. Da -da 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 -da. Good to be back, baby. Good to be back. Still not feeling 100%, but uh, good to be back. I can tell that tomorrow I'll be back to a hundo. I can tell I will tomorrow. And so, come come, if you guys would like to collect some custom Twitch emotes, that's what you get for joining a hype train. Like Subliminal there, with a gift sub to Starburst. Getting us a little closer to level 5. And all aboard for the Twitch emotes. Thank you, Subliminal. Enjoy your ad-free viewing Starburst. Can I ask you guys a question? So, Ramza, if you didn't see it, for the state, we watched the PlayStation State of Play to begin the to begin the stream today. And we were all excited. We were expecting a rebirth, and it didn't occur. And there was a big uh, Kojima announcement about Death Stranding 2 to end it instead. And then afterwards, they said, but wait, there's more. On February 6th, we are doing a rebirth... Oh, shoot, I should have moved. A rebirth-only special in one week. I think I lost a lot of time there. Yabbering. I thought it. I thought it auto entered there. Were you guys expecting something today, or do you find that totally acceptable? Like, how much time did I lose there? Is what I'm wondering. That might have been a lot. You were about to type move. Oh no, that's all good. It's all good. That's funny. I thought that was an auto enter. Well, he stole my potions. We'll have to go the long way around here. I was expecting something today. I wonder if people are going to feel a little jibated that, uh, that they didn't get anything today. It's just kind of what I'm wondering. We've got to stack our text boxes there. Well, we'll see how uh, much time we lose on Guardian. You don't think it was a big deal? Okay. Uh, go on, Battle Speed 3. Inventory is shelt- I'll do 3 instead of 4 to try to get some speed out of this as I- I was a bad boy there, and I probably lost a good 15 seconds at least. Hey, Dabbit. Great to see you. Comfy CT. Absolutely. How are you? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, Choo Choo, guys. Thanks for the hype train. Enjoy your very hype emotes. And if you had a part of that, thank you, thank you, thank you. For a little hype for the comeback stream. Appreciate you. Alright, well, maybe uh, have lots of crits out of Chrono. And Marley. And double flamethrowers. Uh, got, nope, couldn't get it in there. Okay. You can get both of the pods. Gotta kill the pods first here. Mmm, got them both. Okay, that'll be a useless flamethrower then. And crit, 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 guys. That's what we're looking for. Crits. Especially out of Chrono. There, that was Chrono and Mark. Very good, very good. Okay, looking pretty good here. Ooh. Okay. Uh, and we're gonna lose some time, but not too bad. So I probably lost 30 seconds to not moving that. Is the reality. Wow, that was a lot of time. I just stood there for yapping. That was funny. And uh, are we going to win, though, is the question. There, the breakdown. Okay. Well, all in all, you know, it's just giving us 30 seconds to pull back. Let's go get it, chat. Let's go see if we can get that back. Gonna, gotta rise to the occasion. That's too bad. I was hoping... I wasn't looking for self-imposed, you know, time loss there. That was just... That was just, uh... Rust, I guess. Not forgetting they auto-entered the teleport. But, uh, no harm, no fell. 36 seconds. I think we can easily get that. Gotta talk to him again. That's right. And then, we go. Yeah, Chrono Trigger is always a good time. Always a good t oh, good time, Thrumbo. Probably won't lose time from that. Probably catch him still. Yeah. Dizzle. Oh, you pulled the trigger on all the pixel remasters. Oh, you're gonna love them. You're gonna love them, I promise you. Really enjoyed that Guardian fight, though. That was very good. The only thing that I regretted about that was killing the second phase, the, the two pods a little bit out of, like, you want to kill them together. Or it can allow a uh, that attack. It's like a counterattack. Or not really a counter. It's just a, you allow the main body to start getting a move. With only one pod alive. And so I might need to potion someone here, but uh, I think we should be okay. We see the day that Lavos emerged. And rained devastation, fire, and brimstone down on the future. Well, we could do a uh, one for the Johnny bike race. 
Although that's coming up right away. See if I can get the fast rat cycle here. I think I should. Oh, never mind. Well, I tried to go for it. Did that thing just kill itself? That's funny, it killed its own rat. I've never seen that. Should have, should have decided not to go for it. It looked a little dicey. I suppose the time it took to get out of the fight is probably maybe, well, probably a little longer than it would have been to wait. Mm -hmm. da, da, da. Hey, hey, silly nabbit. How you doing, my friend? Very good to see you. Alright, Johnny Baby Time. Da -na -na -na, da -na -na -na, da -na -na. I like their wagging eyeballs. I don't know why. Yo, Wet Maverick, thank you, thank you, thank you for the tier one sub, my friend. Da -na, da -da. Enjoy your ad-free viewing all month, and let's try to get some nose box and not a lot of booty box. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Very good. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. I'll just do my uh, do my box and uh, get through there. That was really good. 19 to the nose, and then whatever was to the booty. But seven frames to the good for every nose bonk. Seven frames to the bad for every booty bonk. Definitely saved some frames there. And so, good job for us. Good job, a lot of nose bonks there. Could have gotten a few more. Usually, would not try to do as many booty bonks, but just wanted to be safe today. Yeah, thank you, thank you. I, I'm here all day. I am the police. I wonder if I should have potioned. I'm gonna risk it. Yeah, yeah, anyone under 50, you should go ahead and heal up. And Bella would be our least wanted person to go down here. But we're gonna survive it and be fine. Okay. And there we go. Nice. Now we walk through here to avoid a fight. And then we want Marley closer to Robo. So there is running past Robo so that Marley doesn't do a bunch of walking to, to get up to Robo's position. Nice little one second optimization. Let's get Robo rolled. Mm-hmm. There you go. So a name robo, huh? Da da Berserk ring on the row, bro, and then shelter it up, and then derelict factory time.
Dana, Dana, na, na, Dana. Alrighty, Derelict Factory, our acid fight. You can one shot kill with Proto, I think. Robo can definitely do a big range here. Luca, so that's five, it's only six HP total, so it's a really bad fight here. So it's, it's Robo who can do the one shot kill, that's right. So that was a bad fight. Five attacks, can take two. No harm, no foul, though. And then hopefully we'll have a green, full, acid alkali fight. Tends to be a nice, fast fight, with a lot of greens and not too many oranges here. You're not a big fan of the oranges, as they will counter near a green. And we gotta make sure we leave on Cyclone for Chrono to prepare- Oh my goodness, they're all- What on earth? I don't know if I like this or- or hate it. I think the greens are more susceptible to the Cyclone. Why did that just do zero on everyone? Did you guys just see that? That did zero on everyone. What on earth just occurred there? Boy, they're so they're so crappy with Okay, Cyclone. Yeah, the Cyclone blows here. Okay, we'll do another. Got to end what a terrible fight. You can see how awful it is with the oranges. So that's funny, that's the opposite of what I was hoping for, for the all green, and you can see why. The uh, the greens will probably take about five, six, seven, eight damage from a cyclone. We had a cyclone that did zero damage AoE there. That was something else, I've never seen that. I have never seen that. So that's going to hurt us. That's going to hurt us. That's that's the biggest RNG in this whole segment, is that one fight. And that was uh, probably the worst fight I've had. So, you know, it's too bad. I was kind of hoping for something good out of that, to try to pull some time back. But, uh, we'll, we'll hope for the best on our series, and it is what it is. Yo, yo, Yarn, how are you doing, my friend? Good to see you. Well, the uh, our series boss fight is all about Cyclone. The front, the back, then the back, and then the front. Yo, Yarn, thanks for the tier one sub, my friend. Two freaking years, baby. And a good two years has been. A good two years it has been, my friends. And here's to another good year ahead. Well, alright. Try to minimize the time loss the best we can, at least. From that, that silly acid alkali. 100% orange fight. I never knew why that was so bad. Now we see why it was so bad. And the Cyclone. Uh, where is my potion on you? Uh, 
and the Cyclone to kill the back. Oh, I did allow them a couple turns that I'm not a big fan of. Boom, boom, boom. And there we go. And through our series. Well, that's that Acid Alkali fight. Although they did get a couple extra turns there, but all right. Through the Derelict Factory. Very nice. But, hell, thanks again for the two years yarn. Happy hump day, my friend. How are you? And uh, hope it's been a good one for you. I always enjoy how long they make it feel. You know, the slow walk back. Dragging Robo in tow here, right? I always find that to be really interesting. I like, I like how they did that. Playing some Pal World. I've seen a lot of Pal World players lately. It looks like a really cool game. How are you enjoying it? How are you? How are you enjoying it? As I've been watching a couple of my favorite streamers play it, and this looks so fun. This game's so great to have on in the background. I used to listen to the OST in school. Yeah, heck yeah. Well, we're about to go do our God of War fight with Specchio. Circle up Robo there so he gets into place a little faster. And say hi to the God of War, our spicy frog Specchio. And do uh, Specchio skip. Let's not fight him. Let's not fight him. Learn magic by doing three times around the track. There's number one. Uh, Specchio gets increasingly agitated. Hey, we did it! Hallelujah! You think you're liking it? Nice. Hey, punches. Yeah, welcome on in. Marley learns magic. Luca learns magic. And then, Specchio... Skip. No, no, no. That's a 45 second to a minute time loss. To have to take on the God of War. He's not much of a God of War right now. We can beat him. But he definitely likes to lose his time, so... You know one thing I never did, and uh, I wonder if you guys have fought every form. I've never fought every form of Specchio. In the casual, I don't think I got high enough level to take on his, like, ultimate form. His highest level. And, uh, you know, I'm well aware Specchio has multiple forms, and you can fight him throughout the game. To kind of, uh, get lots of TP. I think it's, like, really good to fight him. And beat him. Uh, mid potion, equip. Crimson Blade, Titanium Vest. Boy, that was not many mid potions there. That was not many midi potions there, I will say that. I think we'll be okay. We got the two extra mid potions from the guards in the castle. Hey, Victor. Oh, I love what they did with the PC port. It's uh, amazing. Really, really, really nice. They did an excellent job with it. Hope you're having a good hump day, my friend. Welcome on in. This is a skip right there. A lot of a lot of ones were skipping, a lot of ones we can't skip, like this one here. I wanna make sure we leave on lightning right here on Chrono. To prepare for the Hecran fight. 
bat skip right there. Dejin bottle skip right here. Alrighty, lightning by three, bomb by two. Okay, lightning. And the bomb. Okay, got them all in. Excellent. Mid potion, everybody. Especially Bella, who is actually dead. Uh, Athenian water, and mid potion, and we're good to go. All right, lightning, and bomb it. By two, chrono mid potion, whoever was hit here. We'll see who the verdict is. Ah, uh, killed him again. Oh, he really loves killing Chrono here. Uh, mid potion on you. Still think I got in everything I needed. Why do I feel like might be one shy or something? This should be the win. Oh. Oh no. Is this gonna win? It, it should win. Yeah, okay. Okay, good, 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 good. So I think I missed out on one bomb that I, I noticed there was some time in there. I could have thrown in another. So I missed out on one. The thing about that is I gotta be careful now about Chrono. Still save some nice time. Should have saved another 15 seconds. There's nothing bad that came out of that, except that Chrono might not get Fire Sword by Magus. And so we'll need to make sure if we don't see it, we just do one extra bat fight. And uh, got through it, got through it, got through it. Excellent. Uh, yeah, nice time save. Should have saved probably more like 30 seconds, actually. But uh, hey, I'll take it today. Any time save segment's a good, a really solid segment for us today. Because we're pretty rusty. And so we're now going to go do the triple Gato fight. And win our silver coins. Get the full health refresh right there. I like to do this to get Marley and Luke a little closer to where they run out to here. And so numero uno. Number dose. And the third. Gato and his metal joints. And make haste to Truce Canyon. Da, 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 da. All right, well that is the Zombor Zanon bridge session. Zombor is always a really interesting fight. Always an interesting fight here. The Zombor fight revolves a lot around Robo, and whether or not he's going to be your bro bro and hit the top and not the bottom half is on board. Things can get pretty risky if he starts smacking the bottom, especially critting the bottom. We definitely don't like that. 
And so a good Zombor fight tends to mean Robo hitting the top and critting the top can mean a really good fight. As he is berserked. So, uh, he's outside of your control here. Good, good, good. We talked to the chef until those text boxes are done. Having gotten our beef jerky from the chef's brother, we now make haste back to the bridge to go take on Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. Oi, oi, oi here. And then Zombor. And so Plasma Gun, Tabin's Vest. The strength, the magic, the speed. Okay. Heal up with Marley, and then bring in Robo. Got it. Well, if I can save any time on Zomboard, that would be amazing, as I always feel like I lose time here. These fights can be a little bit tricky to auto-battle, too. As you're always trying to do kind of, you know, micro... ...time saves, and, uh... There we go, very nice. It can be a little, little easy to put through an auto-battle attack that you didn't mean to. This game remastered, that would be pretty cool. I'd be all about that. And so there we go. There goes Ozzy. Uh, plasma Gun and Tabus Vest. Uh, the inventory strength on Chrono. The magic, the speed, the tech, the party, and the equipment. I just want to make sure, yes, put the right things on Luke. For some reason, I thought I did that wrong. And so, Cyclone attack with Luca. And remember, we're praying for the robo attacks on the top. God forbid we see a crit on the bottom. There we go. All right, that was on the booty. That's what we don't want. Nice crit on the top. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Is that it? That's on the top, isn't it? Yeah, holy cow. This has to kill- oh my god, that killed Bella. Okay, Athenian water me. That will kill the top, so we're, we're fine here now. And we can wind slash, and we can fire, and rock him. Is that gonna kill him? I, want, I don't want him to die again. I'm, I'm concerned about him dying. Is all. And there we go. Nice fight. Nice fight. Except for the death. A little unfortunate. Alright, sell all. I think I'm walking, aren't I? No, I'm running. Okay. 
need to be running to clear this fight. And so Mirage Hand and the Guardian Bengal. And we attack and make sure Luca is sent to Flamethrower here. All right, let's go have a good Mase Mune chapter chat. Rock and roll. Your surprise Square Enix hasn't renounced a, a remastered CT yet. That'd be pretty cool. That'd be pretty cool. I agree. Da, 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 da. A lot of navigating we're doing through here. A lot of fights we're skipping. A couple you have to take, though. Including this one here. No, 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 no. Nice try, sir. Ah, too bad. That is definitely a, one of the toughest in the run to skip. Didn't get it today. A lot of encounter skips through here, everywhere. Silver earring accessory that we use a lot. Not even, not exactly sure what, it's, what it does. Might be for speed. Getting our magic capsule from Specchio here. Speed capsule. A little cheeky setup for this skip. Wait till the stone throw. And then go. And Masa and Muneta. All about the chrono attack and the fire punch. At a Robo, at a Luka. We want to set them both on Fire Punch for Phase 1. Where we we Hypno-Wave to take out just one of Masamune. To get into Phase 2. Important fight. Very important fight. Here we go. And... Not both asleep. So we need to do it again. And not both asleep. Uh, this is ruining a lot here. My ruining my time. Uh, fire punch. Okay. Not sure if Robo. Yeah, I think Robo did have. Uh, yes, they're both on Fire Punch for Phase 2. Alright, well that was a really a bad RNG. Third Hypno-Wave, I haven't seen that before. Normally one might miss and your second one's good to go, but three today. Ouch. Alright. Well, here we go. Hey, Durfee, good to see you. Attack power doubles at uh, half HP, too. That's gonna hurt. I need to heal now. Mm, yep, mid potion me.
Okay, no one really needs a heal at the moment. Okay, you do now. Uh, okay. Is that death? God damn it. Okay. Uh, Luca? Okay. <clears throat> tough fight, tough fight. Make me work for it here. Almost out of a, uh, almost out of uh, MP though. Ouch. Almost out of MP. I gotta win. Is what I gotta do. I mean, I kind of got to commit here to attacks. Uh, shit. Uh, wind slash and attack out. Yeah, whoa. That got really risky as I ran slow, closer and closer to running out of MP. That was because I had to heal so much. Chrono didn't get as many attacks in as I would like there. And so that, you know, when that happens, you kind of, you need to have Chrono get some, some attacks in there or else you just run out of MP up for the Fire Sword. Definitely decided to not heal, though, and it got me in trouble with Chrono for time loss. But, you know, all in all, through, through an hour, I'm, I'm very content with this run. For a D-Rest, I think it's been, uh, been lovely. And so we go down to Tata to get the Hero's Badge. And then get the Broken Hilt in Frog's Casa. And Casa del Frog here. Hopefully not get a fight in here today. Like to see professional cursed woods here. For the way out, a harder way, and through. Okay. Very nice, very nice. Da -na -da -na. Da -na 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 -na. Yo yo, ravioli! Thank you for the prime sub, my friend. Enjoying your ad-free month of content too. Appreciate you. Hey, Nakus, thanks for the uh, good luck. How you doing? Happy hump day, mi amigo. Well, we are going back to see, uh, see Melchior real quick, who of course is back in Medina in 1000 AD. But only for a second, only for a second, chat, as we're really going to see Ava. Yeah, I missed this as a kid, too. And I only played it for the first time. Beginning 2023. And I felt the exact same way when I played it, Bear. I was like, holy crap. I, I can't believe I missed out on this as a kid. What a shame. What a shame. 
That was my, my, my complete summation of how I felt. Like, what a bummer that I missed out on that. Because I would have loved this as a kiddo. I can promise you. Now, Robo, I believe, is on attack, so I need to be a little careful here to queue up the laser with Robo. I like to do a potion with Chrono just to, to hold the uh, hold time. To make sure we can get off the laser. And hopefully the FMV doesn't crash the game, guys. I mean, that's right here. Did it crash the game chat? Are you still hanging in there? Are we good? I think we're good, right? Did not crash it. Cool. Well, love to see that. Alright. Well, that's a good start. That's a good start. The FMVs were, for some reason, earlier crashing the, uh... I know, Ayla stealing my EXP. I, I am very offended by that. You know, I, I could have loved that. I could have loved that, uh... That alien. Couple fights you gotta take in here. You can skip some though, like this one. And then wait for Robo to boogie, oogie, oogie four times. Number one. Number two. Robo Jam three. And four. Forest, Maze, Land of Copious and Counterskips ahead of us. Well, first, got time to Kino.
Oh, sh oh no! <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, where is my path? <laughs> this one is a very skippable. Just forgot the, uh, the right way there. Oh, brain dead moment. I'll blame the I'll blame the flu. Making me go loco. go, Robo. Thank you, sir. Lightning and auto battle for the Megasaur. Hey, Tirith. No, I didn't go to the doctor. Auto battle it out here. <clears throat> but happy Wednesday, Tirith. How are you? Padded Berserker Berserker. Got lightning set on Chrono. Uh, the... Oops. Uh, or, oh, Padded Vest uh, Berserker. <laughs> Berserker, you get the stone, the ruby, and the silver. Shelter it up and rock and roll. I was looking for padded where the helms were. My bad, my bad, my bad. You know, I took an at-home COVID test, but it came back negative for COVID. Alright, gotta have two crits out of Ayla. Chrono Lightning, attack by two, and then we're looking for nice crits. Not then, Ayla! <laughs> Not then, later! We need him after! We need him now! We need him now! Alright. And so we softened him up, non-crit, attack number one, non-crit, attack number two, non-crit, no one likes to crit. One crit. Okay. So we have one so far, we need another. Nice. Excellent. I think we can go all in, although that did not get in there for... Okay, th that crit has to lock it up, I think. Yeah, nice. Good fight. Good fight, good fight. Let's go, guys. Alrighty. We've had some mishaps, like... You know, 30 second time loss to a little rest today. Didn't move for 30 seconds when I was literally letting someone stand still. Boss fights have been a little steady, but all in all have been actually pretty nice. Pretty nice. Slow is smooth, smooth is fast. Power glove on Robo. Nice. And we actually target the dinos here. A little faster than targeting the... the sheep above. I love how they cover their eyes as they spin. A little blind spinning. So back to uh, Medina. Gonna you know, visit our weapon maker Melchior again. What do you call the you know Melchior? They're like time mages. They kind of control time essentially. But he's going to forge the legendary sword, the Masa Mune. Gurus, time gurus. That's right. Thank you, Ramsa. 
You gotta walk into Melchior from time to time here. Or else the scene doesn't progress. Walk into him there. Walk into him here. Well, now that we have Masamune in tow, let's go take it to our boy Frog and have him wield it to Fiend Lord Keep Greatness, huh? I mean, a heck of a day for a, a, an AFK flea, a nice slash, a fire friendly Magus. Nice, three for three on Birdskin. Definitely not looking to get caught through the cursed woods. Three for three, gotta get four for four, and then we're we're good to go. Couple couple nice little comfy cutscenes here too. And then it is time to go split the mountain in twain. Well, good to be back on the uh, on the streaming side of things after two days of a terrible flu, man. You guys are coming in late. It was the kind of flu that, like, I had in such intense body aches that it actually hurt to lay in bed. Like, laying in bed would hurt my muscles and my bones was how it felt for two days in a row. Today I'm feeling like 75%. I also, it also had just an intense headache. I, I never get headaches ever. Just an intense headache for like a day and a half. Finally kind of subsided last night. And then today is, is almost all the way gone. But uh, boy is it just nice to be back. Feeling able to stream. Feeling in good enough health to not, not worry about it. But uh, yeah, I will be back going to work tomorrow. I did the last two days were literally nothing but laying in bed. So yeah, since I didn't get, since I didn't come up positive for COVID, I uh, I certainly can and, and will. Persona Reloaded Creator Box is in the in the mail with a tracking number. Okay, I don't give a shit about that thing, but if any of you actually do enjoy Persona 3 Reloaded uh, content, I am getting a Creator Box for free, and I will send it to whoever wants it. If anyone in the community actually does want it. Oh, I knew! I knew! 
Oh, nice. Four for four. On the uh, Cursed Wood Skips. Let's go. And now when there's an FMV here, I'm, I gotta be nervous about another crash. <laughs> I have bone nitus. Yeah, my bones hurt. Kind of felt like it. <clears throat> You played Persona 4 and 5. This one is for Persona 3 Reloaded. I just got a random like, email from the, the studio, like, hey, do you want a content creator box? And it was free, so I was like, well, sure, send it to me. And I'll try to find someone who can actually enjoy it. Send it to you guys, gratis. Mine as well. How you doing, Vane? Good to see you. Here's the FMV, as soon as Frog takes up the Masa Mune. And so we have to kind of be concerned about another crash here. They've occurred around FMVs. Not on my end, on your guys' end. It's like, it does something weird to OBS. Yeah, no, it's fine. Okay, good. Hey, Deity. Good to see you. Yeah, I don't know anything. <clears throat> I've never played the Persona games. So I have nothing to report there. Just that, apparently they wanted to get me a free content creator box. And so I said, sure, more power to me. Alright, though. Fiend Lords Keep Time Chat, let's go. Gotta be time saving this run somewhere. Gotta be time to save somewhere. And the most obvious place would be the Fiend Lord's Keep, so let's go get it. Go have a good one. Of course, the introduction to the Fiend Lord's Keep is so interestingly. Mundane, right? No music is playing. You just run into the flea room, run into the slash room, and back to flea. You kind of have to basically, like, open up the castle. Is kind of what's going on. But it feels like you're doing a whole lot of nothing here, but it has to be done. Wow, that does sound a little unoptimal, I agree. Well, it would be a nice day for an AFK flea. That is actually a, a fight where flea doesn't attack. And it could occur apparently about one out of eight of the time. I've had it a couple times, couple times. So I have seen it. I don't I do know what it looks like. I do know how nice it can be. Cyclone the bottom, frog attack.
is a barrier sphere that we definitely need. Titanium Vest Berserker Ring. Settings are on four. That's fine. You don't want to interact with these NPCs. There will be a fight, I believe. And just the, the phase one, which is a free phase of Fleet. Where you just let Frog attack to get the MP busted. Not anyone else. I like to auto-battle the start of the fight here. Hey, big doggy, welcome on. That is up to you, my friend. Well, here we go. Flea has a, a move called The Look. It's, it's, a, it's a move we don't like, as it's AoE, like, 100 damage on everybody. So they're not AFK to begin here. Yo, big doggy! Holy cow! Twenty tier one gift subs to serenade the fiend, Lord's Keep. Big doggy dog, appreciate you. And the twenty, twenty pack of subs, you rock, my friend. Oh no! This is terrible. Okay, uh, good. Well, this is gonna kill him, actually. Uh, no, it's not. Okay, Panacea. Okay, that actually recovery went better than I expected. I want Robo to die here. As as soon as a party member dies, we no longer see the look. And so we're really hoping for it dead. There it is. Oh, that's a blind, potentially. Didn't, didn't take. We're about to win, we just wanna... Ah, come on, push! That's the win, I think. Yeah. Nice! Nice, nice, nice! Yo, the big doggy with another 20! Holy cow, hold on, you're in... Yeah. You are making me uh, earn my Fiend Lord's Keep here, my friend, and I love it! Thank you, thank you, thank you. That is 20... Gift subs, twice. They were so frickin' nice. I didn't get the Barrier Sphere. Well, 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 thank you for the 20 subs by Deuce, Big Down. Allowing 40 Petonius to have ad for viewing. And I will try to not die to Magus. Keep this nice run going for you. Enjoying the content, boss man. Well, I appreciate you, man, allowing... Allowing 40 very nice Petonians to have ad free viewership. You rock. And Ramza with a gift sub to and a mo. We do need to pop off a hype train to serenade this. I think Big Dowgy deserves it, at the very least. I got one on it, chat. We need a third person to give some Petonian cheer. Gotta have three people to make a hype train happen. And we'll just auto battle phase one. And I appreciate you, Big Dowgy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, good to see you, Halo. I am feeling better. Glad you, glad you made it. Alrighty, focus up time. Slash is a pretty tough fight. We need to... need to have the focus on high. Hey, Tirith with the 101 biddies. Appreciate you, Tirith. You know what? I think I'm gonna heal up Robo here. That would I would normally not do that. But I don't want to enter the next phase looking too bad here. Yo, thanks for the 69 biddies. We'll see if if uh, Jessica Alba's in the mood to be coaxed on out tonight. Nice crit. Crits out of frog are the best thing here. Okay, let's do that. I just noticed Robo is in trouble. Oh no. Okay, let's do that then. Get him back, get him back. There we go. God damn it. Letting it get out of hand a little bit here. Okay, there we go. Now we're back on track. Let's 
Nice crit, almost into the yeah phase, I would think. Okay, let's do that. And... On him. Okay, go, 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 guys. Uh, mid potion me. Ooh. Okay, we're into the yeah phase now. This is where only frog attacks. Oh, dead robo. Interesting. Interessante. Dead robo. Okay. Uh, go ahead and bring in you for and shelter up. Magic and speed. The slasher, the power glove, the power scarf. And I forgot to split that. Oh no! Oh, tell me this is escapable. It has to be escapable. Oh no. It's not chat. Oh, it is good. Okay. It is, it is. Learned my lesson there. Don't hit the booty. Don't hit the booty. Alright, well, got through Slash. Looking good. I think that menu was correct. Such an intense section. Uh, attack, yep. And Slurp Slash. And Flamethrower, you. Especially when you're rusty, there's just so many fights are killing in here. So much you're doing. Gotta stay on top of it. Back to back fleas. Well, I need to remember to uh, to see if we have. We need to keep an eye out to make sure we have fire sword on Chrono here. That's the one thing I'm concerned about. As he died, the zombie. Good here. Oh. <laughs> I'm always not ready for the screen. Didn't make that early enough to save the cycle. It's all good. And good. Through. Okay. The much harder outside screen. Very nice, very nice. Wind slash, slurp slash, and flamethrower. Alrighty. Oh, nope. Uh, slurp slash you, uh, flamethrower you. And there we go. Da -da 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 -da. Escape from this one, and then we hypno wave and cross strike the next one. Don't counter, don't counter. They'll do a, a counter to the attack of Uh, Hypno Wave and Christ Strike. There we go. Good. Now, 
I did not see Flame Sword, Fire Sword. But we still have the Aussie fight. Oh. A lot of encounters in here you don't want to run through. Oh, I got caught. Well, this is an escapable one, but, uh... Should be better than that. That one's... All you gotta be doing is looking left, hitting the loading zone. I must be looking straight. <clears throat> Alright, awesome. And now we have to see... Fire Sword. Hey, Worm Guts. Good to see ya. Focus and focus in. I'm running to Magus here. Big moment. Big moment. Dark Mail, Silver, Berserk, and Speak. Okay. Dark Mail, Silver. Uh, Silver, uh, Berserk, and Speed. And the tech, uh, we do not have fire sword, so we have to get it right here. Uh, fire whirl. All but one should die, and then we'll, uh, I guess, have to clean up the final bat. And we should see. Yeah, good. That was a big F, uh, the dual tech right there. That was the FMV skip right there. And now for Magus. Definitely the most important, most important fight in the whole world. But Choo Choo, guys, thanks so much for that level 7 hype train. You guys rock. I will try to do you proud here. We're looking for a lot of fire. Lightning works. Shadow is not great. Water's the worst. But we need fire and lightning to even do damage to Magus. So here we go. Barrier Chrono. And rock and roll. What do we got? Light! Okay, mid potion and uh, lightning up. So first lightning's in there. Lightning again. That's not a great start to be honest. Not a great start to be honest. Just being, being real. Uh, midi potion you. Is what it is. Another light. Uh, it's just, uh, not great. We need fires. Okay, mid potion you, but we will take it because we have to. Third lightning. Fire. That's great. Any chances, fire, and we're done. Another light. Uh, I'm gonna do a healing round here. Is that it? No, God, lightning just takes so long. Crazy how long it takes, huh? You can just, you can feel it. It's just, uh, fire's like double the damage. I think that is in there, though. Is it? Unfortunately, it is. Uh, 
Okay, we need you healed the full. Now, fire sword time. I say unfortunately because you want to end on fire, so you can you can be firing for that one move there. It can allow for a two cycle Magus. Instead of a... Uh, well, man. I might still try to go for the two cycle. Athenian water. Nah, too risky. Too risky. And Frog stopped critting. The fact he stopped critting meant I had to kind of... I had to cool my jets there. Okay. Glad I did. Oh, we're out of MP. Okay, Fire Whirl. That's all I, I gotta just go all in now. And there's the win. Nice. Bad, bad Magus. Not a, not a, not a terrible Magus, but there's not very good RNG. I handled that really well. What I'm, what I'm thrilled about was that Magus fight was a, a solid fight. I just took the RNG in stride, dealt with it, and dealt with it well. The problem was that it's funny. We got a lot of good stuff, right? We got a lot of lightning. It's just lightning is about, it's more than half, less than half the damage of fire. And we got five lightnings. They're just a lot of uh, time to do a minimal amount of damage. And you can see I lost a minute versus whatever the PV Magus was. And so that just means that, uh, you know, just not as, not as lucky today. Magus is an interesting fight. It's the kind of the run killer. But it's not a, that hard of a fight. It's kind of intense, but it's more about how much time are you going to lose? Or how much time are you going to save? Is kind of the bigger deal. But that was uh, just how, you know, that fight was supposed to go. And so you just kind of walk up to Magus, you say hi, you hope you don't die, and you say bye, and that's what we did, so go us. I'd like to see it just hanging in there still. I mean, three minutes in the red on a D-Rust is really good. That is really good. I just hope it kind of keeps on going. I'd like to see some time save segments here and there. <clears throat> Would be really nice. And I think the next section could have it. Could have it in it. I hate that fight. They always counter. You need to not attack the, uh, the, the ape. You need to attack the boulder. For a non-counter. <clears throat> Nothing you can skip here, and then a couple you can skip here. You know, I noticed that the notes say to go below the boulder. You can go above the boulder there. You can save more time than what the notes recommend. It might be a PC exclusive thing for the new update. Possibly. Another FMV we're gonna hopefully skip and not have the game crash here. 
This is the one where the team rides on the pterodactyls. So cool. Hopefully you guys are hanging in there still. Headband, mist robe, power scarf. You get the silver earring, you get the uh, speed belt, and go, go, go. Talk to Kino as Ayla apparently can climb over the bars. Why can't Kino not? That's what I want to know. What's going on with Kino? Maybe the female race is just that superior in 25 million BC. Hey, JC. Doing great. Doing great. Had a lightning tastic Magus. I think five lightnings. But it was a good Magus. You know, it was a Magus I didn't make a mistake on. And so on a D rest, you know, I thought that was really good. Thought that was really good. <clears throat> uh, glad you made it off the road. Good to see ya. Da -na -na. Left side, best side. side, I think? Yeah. I actually had to look at the notes to verify that. Uh, yes. And now for our seven Cyclone Fights. For Cat Attack. And then so, fight number one. You're working from home tomorrow, so you're chilling with some CT for the rest of the night. Hell yes. Cheers to that. Fight number two. Well, it's just good for me to be back. Hanging with the community. You know, you guys are my family. I, I hate it when I don't get a straight. And I hate it even more when it's due to being sick. Because then not only is my time off, time I'm not really using to, like, recover. And have some, you know, R&R. &R. There is fight number three. But, you know, I'm just sick during it all. And that's miserable. So fight number four, it just feels great to be back today. And number I'm assuming is number seven. And so we should see Cat Attack here. Yep, there it was.
Alrighty, tough fight. Only in the sense that I have a tough time with this fight a lot. There we go. Thunder Chomp. Thunder Chomp. And Thunder Chomp. Okay, last one on Chrono. Oh. Bella, uh, mid potion on you, mid potion on you. Uh, no, that is going to kill you again. Now do it. Then we're in there. Okay, for the Fire Sword. And we are going to set Cat Attack. Although I don't know why you do that here, actually. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Had to do a little bit of a, not really a backup, I had to be careful there. Uh, Chrono would have died, you know. Chrono, as in Bella would have died, had I uh, not taken a cycle to heal up there. And so, all right. Ruby Vest and the Power Glove. Luca, you get the Speed Belt Frog, you get the Guardian Bangle. Okay, Shelter. Go on to two. Couple fights you skip there. They're brutal fights too. You gotta, gotta skip them. And Black Tyrano, let's go. See if we can pull back any kind of time. And don't forget your flame kicks in the, in the the heal. Well, not the heal up, but kind of the non-damage phase. Very important. All about the the fire sword and the cat attack, but. In the, the non-damage phase, we still are doing some with uh, Flame Kick. And so, Hypno Wave first to silence is all. Until it takes. And it took. So we know Chrono is dying here. Fire Sword and Cat Attack. Ah, uh, shoot. Okay. I was hoping I could turbo that, wouldn't let me. Yeah. Okay. Number three. Number four. Oh, we got two in on me. That's not good. Oh no. Uh, well, do something then. I've gotten a little wonky here. Ooh, uh, am I dead? Oh, I got that. Oh, it might have 159 health. Good. 
I thought we were closer than that, but still, not good here. Uh, Athenian water? Uh, okay, where's my flame kick? No! Oh, no, 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 it's going really bad. I gotta get my flame kicks in here. This is going nasty bad. Uh, Athenian water. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, chat. Hanging in there. Oh, this is terrible. This is literally terrible here. Oh no. Okay, fire sword. Cat attack. I'm gonna have to heal up uh, the party. Is the bad news here. It's, I just, the ATB was too fast. That's on me. So here's what we're gonna do. Uh, we are going to mid potion Chrono all the way up so that he survives. As I know, I won't get through this cycle. Oh, now it can be turboable. That's too bad. I found out. It's too late. So here they're gonna die. And we'll start resin people. No, uh, dude, the wrong person. God damn it. <laughs> Trouble in paradise again here. Okay. I'm out of Athenian waters! Oh, uh, it's run over. Damn. That is run over, actually, chat. Bummer. Wow! I can't believe that went so bad. No, that actually wasn't the wrong battle speed on. It just... I made too many mistakes. I just made too many mistakes along the way. And that got me in, uh, in hot water. Was what occurred. And so down to uh, Black Tie Rano. Well, bummer. Well, where's the auto save? Where is it? Right there. Okay. We're right back into it. Well, let's see if we can do a little better this time. And uh, Zayla won that round. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Hypno Wave. Oh, interesting. They have the same RNG, too. And it does take. I wonder if... Cro yeah, look, Chrono's going to die again. Exact same fight. Very interesting. All right, all right. There, got it all queued up. There, now Turbo is working much better. This is where the it, this is where it goes really well when you can get everything queued up like that using Turbo. And I wasn't able to do that last fight. Now I'm getting every turn in as intended. And this is going perfect. So last fight, I lost out on two whole rounds of the Fire Sword Cat Attack. You can see now my Turbo is getting them all in perfectly. And this is the major difference. This will be a very good fight. Where the last one was a very bad fight. Uh, give me a cleave so I can get this in and the flame kick. Uh, 
Uh, where's the flame kick? There it is. Uh, flame kick. Flame kick. No, I didn't mean to do that. Well, it was attack for Chrono. It's fine. One more flame kick, and we're out of here for the damage phase. And now for the win, Fire Sword, Cat Attack. Boy, I hope I have enough Fire Swords in me. There, all of them in with Turbo. I only have enough for one more after this. This needs to win. <laughs> right here. And I think it should, I think it should. Yep, there we go. Okay. Well, first, uh, first death of the run there to Black Tyrano. That was a almost perfect fight on the second go of it. You can see how much of a difference being able to turbo queuing up all three turns affects that fight. It makes it so much nicer. And the reason why the first one went bad was, was I, I noticed it right away the second time through. It's because I didn't queue up the Fire Sword and Cat Attack right away. I allowed Rest Tyrano or Black Tyrano to kind of get some time, some ATB filled, and that really affected the fight. So I see now how that goes a lot better. So I think I think going forward that'll be a cleaner, cleaner fight. And nice, the beat goes on. I was hoping for a deathless run, at least through like the Ocean Palace today. As I did, I was able to get a little bit of prep work done on that, even though I was sick. But you know what? We're doing a, a no reset D rest. That's all good. That is all good. I just want to say thanks again to Big Dowgy for the 40 gift subs. You guys caught me in the middle of the Magus segment, and I sure had to keep my eye on the prize. But thank you, thank you, thank you guys for all the hype support for the first stream back after. After being so sick, I feel I feel so loved. I appreciate you guys. You know how to make a guy feel good. Firth try Firth, huh? <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take a. Tr I'll just take a, a successful run today. Although you know, I honestly thought. I could go deathless. And so I can no longer do that. I'm gonna cry tears of sorrow. And I shall I shall keep my head held high and persevere. How are you guys doing tonight, chat? As we get back onto the stream grind. Should be a fun week ahead as I get back into better health. I'm about 75% today. I fully expect to be 100% by tomorrow. Yo, Acid. Yeah, feeling better. Not feeling much better, but I am feeling better. What are you guys up to for your Wednesday, huh? For your first stream back, you happy to have the comfy confines of P-Town Chrono Trigger back in action? What you eating on? What you drinking on? What you, what you got going on for your, your Wednesday night? You busted out of your main event seat, so you're here, battler. Nice. I might play a little bit of poker tonight. I might find like a 16 50 tourney or something. Maybe a $33 tourney. Throw some money at the wind. You're watching Florida versus Kentucky basketball. Nice. That's a that's a battle of the blue bloods there. Yeah.
Da -da -da -da. Love the music here. So good, so good. One reason why CT is such a such a good run, such a popular run, such a fun run to speed run is that the soundtrack is phenomenal. Yo, hot ham bell, thanks for the tier one sub, my friend. And enjoy your ad-free Kahar. Gotta have ad-free viewing for Zeal and Kahar. Thank you, gotta. Appreciate your handbell. Thanks a lot. You love the the. Easter egg they did with putting this song in Melchior's Hunt. Yes! I love that too. For a very brief amount of time, but yeah, totally. I'd kind of forgotten about that. To the right, to the center, to the left, to the center. And I do the clean sweep. Thanks again, Ham. Bell, enjoy your... Add free CT friendo. Well, you guys know I'm recovering from the flu, so subs for chugs probably aren't going to be a thing tonight. In fact, I've had the last two days of abstaining from alcohol. For the most part. For the most part. Probably been good for me. Probably been good for me. Other than the, the flu being not good. I don't know. At some point tonight... I might crack a beer. Been very patient tonight, though. You know, gotta gotta be dutiful. When you have the flu, hydration is like the most important thing. Most important thing. I've just been too. I've been too dehydrated. I spent everything I can do. Had like sweating out. I've had the fever. The fever. <laughs> I've had a fever. I have the fever, pops. <laughs> I've got the black lung. I'm feeling better, Leopard, but I'm, I'm back. I'm up to about 75% today. And so here we go. Out of MP! Well, I guess I could mid ether you. And then Wind Slash. No! Oh, come on, man. Where was my Wind Slash? Alright, I'm just gonna, at this point, just gonna let him kill me. Alright, scuffed fight. But, uh, through. <laughs> Very scuffed fight. So, out of MP is what got me in trouble there. So, that's because I used the cleave on Black Tyrano. I need to stop doing that. I need to stop doing that. And so that left me a little, little without... What, what you want there is the Wind Slash will prompt. Yeah, water chugs to help me rehydrate. I like where your head's at. The Wind Slash prompts an AoE attack. Lightning. Lightning 2, I think. And so, uh, you know, a little reminder to be careful on the prior fight, which is what got me in trouble there. Check out Wiz Khalifa. Never been, if you're a true Chrono Trigger fan. I know about that, yeah. I, I do know that Wiz Khalifa is a big CT guy, right? Part 2 as well is the forest theme. It's all good, Ryan. Just go pay your dues at the front desk, your late fee, and, uh... Get comfy, my friend. Da -da 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 -da. Well, this is part of the comfy part of the run. Part of the comfy part here. Gonna do some fun routing to get the epoch so we can fly around the world being time travelers. And we do the, uh, the comedy hour. The crawly part in the abandoned sewers. Always a fun section. Da 
We do like to go to Medina for the Swallow. All we get here... And if you think about that, this entire section is time loss. If you... If you could survive without it, and, and save time, right? And so it must be that the Swallow is such a nice time save, such a boost to our DPS, that it's worth this amount of time to come get it. You know, for the fights throughout the rest of the run. Because this is all, this whole chapter here, Going to 1000 AD is just for this weapon. And it's a multi-minute segment here. And so it's got to result in a multi-minute time save, you know, overall. And it, it sure does. I know the Swallow is a big upgrade, a big upgrade. Think about how much Falcon Strike we're doing. You know, that, that surely has a big effect on Falcon Strike. And so, Swallow, Headband, and Shelter. Plus three speed is like a quarter about the max bonus. Ah, uh, so it's the speed. Not the DPS that you like battler a lot. Gotcha. Uh, center pillar, yeah, protodome. I would assume it has a DPS, like a, a, an attack boost over whatever we have currently too, which I think is the Crimson Blade, is what we currently have. That we got from Melk. No, no, no. Well, yeah, I guess it would be on. It would be the Crimson Blade, I think, on Chrono. I think that is right. The speed does add to DPS. Well, it probably has a DPS boost, too, not just speed. Or is it? Is it literally just speed? I don't know the answer to that kind of stuff. I mean, you're doing more damage in less time. I guess I, I think you're right. You could, you could argue with... That's not probably what I meant, though. And so it's just plus three speed. Got it. But pl the plus three is so big that that's... So worth it, yeah. Skip the, the third fight. Cannot skip the first two fights there. Damn. Kill this fight. like to be on battle speed. Let's go four here. Uh, should be fine. Should be fine. Don't touch. Don't, don't talk to the cat. Don't pet it. Don't drink the soda. Don't eat out of the cart. Don't touch the cheese. Don't save. Those are all fights. It's all a jibate. Don't believe your eyes, chat. No, no, no! Gotta save the frames! No saving. No, no, no. Good, nobody likes cats. If you say so. Uh, flame kick! Good, got it in. He's... Nice. Crawley in his long ass. Dying animation. Thank you, Crawley, for that long death. Love you, though. Hmm. 
You have two cats, doe eyes? I'm a cat person. I've never owned a dog. I've definitely always been a cat person. But I would I would have nothing against owning a dog. Just never had a, a casa that I felt like would be dog appropriate. That's been the main problem. Not not a want of or not not a lack of dogs. A lack of a good house for a dog. You also have four wow, two cats, four Yorkies. You are a pet lover. That is very cool. And so we're going to antiquity chat. FMV skip. That hopefully didn't crash anything. Good. And then right into the mud imp. The run killing son of a gun. May not be a run killing son of a gun all the time, but he's a real asshole. He can be a real asshole. I think most most people would agree. No one likes the mud imp. He's a real jerk. He's a jerk. All about the fire sword and the run dillo kick. Your cats are bigger than your dogs? Yeah, Yorkies are tiny, aren't they? Well, here we go. Hypno wave and pray. And then lightning. And the flame kick. Did it put her to. S Good, the miss. Okay, uh, lightning on you. Uh, flame kick. Is he panic good? Nice start here. Is he gonna panacea? Good. Excellent. I mean, uh, put them to sleep needing a panacea. Okay, there. I put him to sleep. Uh, I'm gonna push and not wake him up. Um, this might have been a really bad call. This might have been a really bad call. This has to kill. This has to kill or I made a terrible call. Oh! It woke him up for me. Oh, and put him right back to sleep. This has to kill, chat. It did! Oh, God! A time save, finally. <laughs> what a gamble. What a gamble, but it paid off. It paid off. Very, very risky, though, what I just tried to do there. <laughs> and uh, we will use the spin capsule on oh, Ayla. All right, live on a... I'm on a prayer here. I probably should heal up. I have high, I have mid potions I should use. But that was scurry. But it, it worked out. Paid off. Now we need to kill a boulder, and we hope this boulder. And there we go. So I do think I will inventory a uh, mid potion. Boom, boom, boom. But we, they're going to do like two fights in here, and they're not hard. But you wouldn't want to die in them. And so we're gonna kill this fight. That is a nice boulder, yeah. 
And so, power sight headband. Uh, power scarf, the sight scope, the headband, no, the uh, headband, the berserker, and the speed belt. Okay. This is the land of menus that I will definitely be rusty on. Probably movement I'll be rusty on, too. You know, the, the later into the run we get on a de-rest, obviously, the more it's going to creep in there. Encounter Skipperino, right about there. Escape right about here. And then our first Falcon Strike of the day, at least we, we hope. Shouldn't have any issue here with it. Good, good, good. Get the Barrier Sphere. Escape from the four-time Death Lily. So far, so good through here. Just get the time hat, the magic capsule, hit the save point, battle speed to six, rock and roll. Six is safe. You could definitely do it on five. Or four, four, I guess, if you really wanted to. That sounds a little risky, though. I'd have to try that out. Nice crits that are kind of, kind of useless, but we'll take them, we'll take them. Final magic capsule before g g g g g g g All about Falcon striking the arms twice and then the head four times. Then phase two. Alright, number one out of four on the head. Number two out of four. Number three out of four. Get him, Luca. And four out of four. And now for the five. High five on the forehead for the win. Number one. We'll have to clear Luke out of the way at some point. Number two. Number three. Probably not yet. Number four. And number five. For the win. Nice to see a double time save segment. Rock and roll chat. Rock and roll. I just realized my fan isn't on. I'm on my, my second computer today, my gaming laptop. And I do want to turn that on. I think there is a cutscene here, right? Yeah, user scenario, extreme performance. That's where my fan goes burr. There, now we're on extreme performance chat. You're about to see a revolution in gaming. This disregard that statement. The baby stole your phone. Oh, you can't you can't lie to me. That was totally you. 
That was totally you. Now, how would you say that statement? You get to get this there you go. I speak, baby. I felt like I was having a brain aneurysm there. You're holding the bebe while mom's running the bath. Nice. Well, the Ocean Palace is next, my favorite chapter of the entire speedrun. You do gotta keep your eye on those Bamba Snow Leopards, yeah. Obviously, they're very rambunctious. Obviously. Grabbing phones and trying to talk already. Do you guys have a favorite dungeon in Chrono Trigger? I think we call them chapters, kind of, but, you know, to you guys, they might be a dungeon, or just favorite, favorite place in Chrono Trigger. I've got a couple, but the Ocean Palace is my, probably my number one favorite. <clears throat> and that's actually mainly just for the music. Because the music, not just the music, but the whole, the whole dungeon is such a good dungeon. Such a good dungeon. Yours is Magus's castle, the Fiend Lord's Keep. Yeah. Excellent option. Excellent choice there. Little little mistake on the routing. This is where the rest will get a little heavier. It has been nice. We saved almost a minute over the last two uh, segments. Love to see that on a D rest. You know, any kind of time save is a very good segment. As you're almost always going to be going in the wrong direction. This year, you know, we're running against PB today. And so we go do option one and option two here now. And there we go. No reset required. I think if you pick the wrong options there, not option two, you are reset. Ayla, your time to shine here. And there we go. Everyone should survive here, just barely. And that means it's Ocean Palace time. Let's go, baby. Nice fight, nice fight. Hey, Scott. Welcome on in to the Ocean Palace. Hope you're excited. Nice section. Good. Menus are starting to flow the deeper into the run I get. You know, I don't have these, any of these memorized. Normally, if I was in form, I would have these all memorized, but... You know, for a Chrono Trigger run that's only about four to five hours long, you should have the notes. You should be able to run note-free. Other than maybe some very basic stuff. And so here we go. I made quite a lot of mistakes in the last D-Rest run we did a couple... Oh, a week ago. In this here section. The Ionian suit. With the Kaiser arm. Uh, 
Get the heck out of Dodge. Escape this fight? I always wonder why we don't kill it. It's very easy to win the kill fight. And? Nice! Very good. You can skip those two at a time, however. For the D rest today, I'll take it a little more careful. And all of them in there. This one, they should all be in there. The next one, often, it can take two Falcon Strikes. Should learn Lightning 2 here for Chrono, our, our Bella today. Good enough, I will say yes to the dress. I'll take that one. And then mop up this way. Very easy to kill a guy with regular attacks here. It can take a long time to get that other one in there. Probably would probably faster to Falcon Strike again, but I think today, in case I make a mistake on the elevator, I'd prefer to keep the MP. And so we're kind of ramping up to the elevator here to learn Fire 2 for Luca. Really important. Just to make sure we're on track. People have died today. At times, I definitely was not happy about. Dana. Uh, Falcon Strike. Yep. I feel like my battle speed needs to be higher. It's too slow right now. Much better! Yeah, that's more like the speed I'm looking for here. Luca for Robo, show me fire two. And now for the rest. Uh Falcon Strike. Boom, boom. Well, this is not RNG at all. This is all just, um... Just taking the elevator as it comes. And we can do that. Boom, boom, boom. We need to take out the purple... What is he? He's like a ghoul, I believe, before you can then take out the, the green ghoul who's being protected by the purple one. Holy crap, I just saw uh, Bella's HP. Why are they so low? <laughs> Glad I caught that. I wouldn't want a death here. Can't heal in between fights either. These enemies have a triple combo counter. Don't want to do that. I'm out of MP. On who? Damn it. Alright, mid ether on uh, you. Uh, go ahead and mid ether on. You, my bad. And what a lot of time loss, but uh, got through it. I think I did an extra fight, I think is what I did. I think I did an extra fight, and I didn't realize it. That's all good, it's all good. I have extra ethers today, that'll be okay. That'll be okay, we'll survive that. 
It was a good catch, though. But I don't love having to burn that. But I'll just I'll grab a couple of extra cheeky things throughout the end of the run. Have a good night, Squish. Take care. These guys, again, same guys with the triple combo counter. It's like an AoE 200, too. It's not, not kind. It's a human health. Always gotta be on five for this fight. And we always gotta have the boogie that hits. All about the boogie. To stop the two golem twins here. It's not a guarantee though. And so here we go. Lightning two and then boogie. Okay. There we go. I uh, did hit. And made a mid potion on Chrono. Falcon Strike, another one on Robo. I'm losing Ayla. They can wake up. I should still win without anyone dying, though. And a little time loss through there. I think the elevator was most of it. I, I think I, I did an extra fight on the elevator, which got me into trouble, and I had to blow two ethers, which I didn't love, but still, not a bad section. Not a bad section. I knew. Let us buy, buddy. We're gonna take on Lavos, guys. What do you think? Are you ready? You think we've done enough work today to win the run? You didn't know. Chrono Trigger is only a two hour, 45 minute run. This is the final boss right here. And let's see if I've done enough grinding to get the job done. Couple people have died today, though. Couple people have died today. I'm a little nervous about, about this one. Hang in there. 1226 damage. Yeah. Shoot. I only had a hundred. I, I guess... I guess I, I kind of undercalled how much I needed to get through Lavo. Shoot. But better luck next time, though. Better luck next time, though. I think I need to go back to the drawing board on the route. I'm just a little too far away from the, from the being able to survive here. You know, a thousand HP short. Just might be a little more than I can kind of make up. I don't know, I need that game plus route, exactly. Mm 
There is an FMV in here. Is it right here? Hey there, Joey. Glad that you made it for Chrono Trigger. Yeah, right there. And he didn't even notice it. You just ran a D and D session last night and used this exact scene. Oh, heck yeah, man! That's cool. So many classic scenes in Chrono Trigger: the campfire scene toward the end, the mammon machine scene, totally right here, lavo scene. Absolutely. Well, dastardly Dalton. We're not done with him yet. A jerk. Luca A. La Robo. In the 11 shelter, 11 Athenian water, and all the high potions we're going for. Okay. Luca A. La Robo. It's very important in Chrono Trigger, you get them in the right order, too. It's a super important thing. It can totally affect fight strats. All right, Luca, uh, Ayla, and Robo. Okay. And then our 11 shelter and Athenian water. Uh, high potion for the rest. Yeah, looks pretty good. And then talk to the elf. I think so, Tyrion. I think CT is just a smidgen overrated throughout the annals of RPGs, although you think it's a really well executed game. Hmm. I don't think I'd agree with that. I think it's in my top five. I think my I think it's in my top five. I think it would be considered a really classic, not overrated, but you know, all in the eye of the beholder. All right, cat attack, auto battle. Hmm. 
Hey, CG. How you doing? I see you're being very needy today. I do see you. How are you? Hey, Anchor. Good to see you, too. Uh, cat attack and auto battle. Yes, you're requiring me to, to pay attention to everything you say. Because I'm trying to run a Chrono Trigger run here. And I need to be attentive to the notes. Luca, you get the air gun. Uh, Robo, you get the Kaiser arm. Uh, sort, inventory. Uh, potions for shelters. Mid potion, everybody. I never understand why we do that. I think we don't need to. The potion, everyone. I'm not even a big fan of, like... Sorting my item menu. I find I lose time more than I save doing it. Uh, go ahead and give me a two battle speed. That should work. And we just chill out here as the Golem Overlord just does his thing. Alrighty, well hopefully being on battle speed 2 is not going to get me in hot water here on Dalton. Fire Tackle, Lapis, Boulder Toss, Fire Tackle. I've had issues on this fight when, when I'm a little not, not like when I'm rusty and my. And I'm on a really high battle speed like I am here. So, fire tackle. Lapis, boulder, toss. Alright. Okay. All right, fire tackle, lapis. Uh, boulder toss. And fire tackle for the duck. Alright, good. Even on that super high battle speed, fine. Got the job done. Nice. Titus Thursday tomorrow? That I highly doubt. As I do not have Thursdays off, and so I doubt I'll be doing a 9 hour, a 9 to 10 hour stream. After I get off of work. No, thank you. Unfortunately, just sick this week. Not going to be a 10 Tuesday this week. Da -na -na -na. I love the Epoch music. So good. Two, uh, Kaiser Arm, the Time Hat, and the Crimson Blade. There we go. Hey, Moogie, how you doing? Let's not mess up Magus here. So it's called Pig Skip. He says the line Pig, and then you have to fight him or not fight him. You have to choose. So we need to be pacifists today. 
Magus is a pretty, pretty OP boy. He's a Giga Chad when it comes to magic. And so we would love for him to tag along for the rest of the run. That would be a nice thing. He's got Lightning 2, Fire 2, Ice 2, everything 2. He's part of our Omega Flare Triple Tech with Luca and with Chrono. Big fan of, big fan of the Magus here. Mmm, welcome back, Snow Leopard. And he flies, and we have an animated flying emote. I mean, we, we can we're, we can even one of that. And he flies, though. That is the coolest part. Buenos dias, Moogie. How are you? Chilling with your morning coffee. Nice. Well, we need to look out for the pig. Skip. What I look for is Luca raising her plasma gun. There we go. Pig has been skipped. Luca, Magus, and Mark. Okay. Uh, Magus and Marley. There we go. Back to the Epoch for a little cutscene or two. And we can chill. Well, you guys have been so supportive of the uh, CT stream tonight. It is 6 o'clock in the, in the in El Noche. You guys want to crack a PBR with P-Town? I think I'm in the mood for one to finish the run. I might have an hour and... That could be under hour and a half to go, actually. Which for today has been a much better, much better run than I expected. The last D-Rest we did was just a one-off run like a week ago was a five-hour run, so today has been much, much better. Looking much improved. Haven't really done any extra work, just a little, a little better run. A little more steady. About an hour and a half yesterday. Did pay a little bit of dividends, I can see today. And so, cheers to you guys hanging out tonight for our first stream back since I've been out with the flu. Appreciate everybody. And we're going to the Middle Ages for a lot of fun routing. I like this section. We're going to the tavern, guys. When you crack a PBR with friendos, you gotta go to the tavern. And so, come with P-Town. That's where we're headed. And then to the end of time. As that's where it takes you if you've had too many PBRs. Gotta watch out. Gotta watch out. Talk to the old man. And here is the Chrono Trigger moment. Cheers, guys, to our Chrono Trigger. They say the thing right there. Or, coming up, coming up. That's right. Right here. Now is the chrono trigger. Where they say the thing. And, uh... Always a hype moment. And then we're going to the presence. <clears throat> da -da 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 go visit Mama and Papa Luca. Come with me, chat. Ah. Da -da -da -da. And then to the, the jerky shop. Oh, come on. These things are so close together sometimes. Gotta be careful. This is for the jerky we need. And now right for West Cape for Toma's grave. Where there's a speed capsule behind the grave. That's what we're there for. Love you, Toma, though, too. Go 
down to the inn. I like to land on the fountain, crush it. Go talk to the guy's wife. This is to get the carpenter's tools. And then we go back to the Middle Ages and deliver it to that guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Glad you noticed. Da -na -na -na. Hey, butter stuff. Good to see you. Welcome on in. And so he's got his tools now. We can go back and have him basically recruit him to to do construction in the northern ruins, to clear the, the ruins out for us. This is the frog 100% part of the side quest. You know, we're, we're, we're definitely in the 100% of the game now. And so we do the frog side quest and then the magus side quest. Coming up here. And fire too. Hope that we're not MP busted. I need these ethers. Nice! There's one mid ether save. I've used two today that I didn't want to. I would love to save one from this fight. Any chance you guys are gonna be my bros? Nah, alright. Well, we'll need to use a mid ether. So I saved one mid ether there. And so that was a good thing there. Mid ether. Um. Ooh, inventory mid potion. I don't know why I did that actually. We'll get a first turn off. Doesn't matter if he's down to zero now, we'll, we'll, we'll shelter before he needs anything else. All right, Frog, Luca, and Robo. Uh, Frog, Luca, and Robo. Okay. And that's the conclusion of it. We've done it. <clears throat> you know, they're, they're going to unlock the rest of the... Uh, of the northern ruins, now that we cleared the way from evildoers. And now we get a payoff, the payoff of watching Cyrus's cutscene. With our boy Frog. Get some uh, nice stuff there, I believe that is a high ether or a turbo ether. And now the Cyrus cutscene, cheers to this. Yeah, that death to uh, Black Tyrano was a four minute and a half death. We'd only be three minutes in the red today. 30 seconds I lost, literally standing still. <laughs> well, I should have been moving. <clears throat> Interesting how this run's actually been a pretty damn solid run for just a complete de rest, you know, not much prep at all. We could get back to PB form very quick if I wanted to for this game. I also noticed there is a new update in August, and it said they they patched some things that made the game faster. There might be some free time save if we came back to it as well. I'd have to ask how much though, how much the actual free time save there is, and there might not be any. We'll have to see. Love the frog, the frog theme. So good, so triumphant. Yeah, I saw all the PBRs got patched up. Uh, northwest, not, not the northeast. Yeah, I had an update on all of them recently. I had an update four, five, six. 
Yeah. Didn't see an update for CT. Uh, yeah, and, and for CT. All the way back in August. That I guess I've never... Well, yeah, I guess I've... I guess it's auto-updated. I didn't notice. So, frog attack by two and fire attack. Uh, fire attack. And one more attack out of frog will do the trick here. And there we go. The second coming of Flea Bested. Welcome back, Tinny Bell. The second coming of Slash. Our musical trio here. Your meatloaf was delicioso. Glad to hear that. I'm gonna live vicariously and just try to taste it right now. Oh god, it tastes so good. Oh god. Mm mm mm. Now you crit, Frog. Now you crit. Frog, Ayla, and Marley, as we want them all down to one HP here. This is something we do on purpose so that they're prepared for Rust Tyrano. And Frog for the Acra fight. Hoppy Frog. It's the only part where we have Frog as the leader, and I love it. I love it. And so back to Luca, Magus, and Robo, our, our you know, our triple tech trio. Two speed to Magus, and shelter it up, and go. To Giant's Claw. Very important section here. Very intense section. See if I can try to get the Ice 2 in here. <clears throat> to set up the uh, successive fights after. It's kind of an all hands on deck section. It's just focus time here. If I'm rusty, it can be tough. For the ice two, good, got that locked in. And then right switch. That's not right. Can we flee? I don't think we can. Oh, we can flee, good. <laughs> it must be <laughs> left switch, p and then fall down, you idiot, yeah. At least that wasn't as punishing as I thought it might be. And now it's the right switch, now it's the right switch. That's where I got thrown off. Oh no, it didn't- Ah, it fucked me! I'm probably dead here. This is nasty when this occurs. Let's Athenian water, and then ice too? Good, I got- okay, that worked out well. I actually handled that nicely. Luca had to be alive. Uh, party, uh, boom, boom, and then Marley for Robo. Okay, and I will mid potion. No, I didn't mean to do that. Actually, no, she's supposed to be. Yeah, she's supposed to be okay. Yeah, just so don't heal Marley. Just so don't heal Marley. Alright, alright, alright. <laughs> Gotta be really careful with who you're healing here. You can get yourself into some major hot water if you. If you heal up, and it can make you lose a lot of time on like Rest Tyrano or Yakra. So that's why I was very not happy if that was incorrect, but it, I think we're fine. It's Marley, Frog, and Ayla are the ones that you never want to heal. Always should be at one. And so Luke is fine. 
da na 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 da na na Doom and Gloom, Ruby and Berserker. And two boulder fights that have to be good. If any of these don't work, it's a reset. But I think that'd be really rare here. Really rare. So that was Cure. This should be Haste, I believe. Luca for Ayla, battle speed to two. Good. Uh, Luca for Ayla, battle speed to two. Uh, inventory, mid potion, Magus seems to be topped off here. And Tyrano time. Well, we got a charm, a red plate, and we, we hope it works. It can fail. And then haste. Nope, nothing. Okay, so we'll need to do a 30 second backup. That's too bad. That's uh, 30 seconds of time loss. And what we'll do is in the castle, we'll go get the red, I think it's the red vest, to make up for not getting the red plate. <clears throat> but a really good fight, you know, Ayla dead, Marley dead, just as intended. Got haste off on Magus, and nice, nice, nice. A little time loss through here, but all in all, you know, as intended. That's what I like to see. And there we go. Little unsteady, which is kind of the remembering, you know, the flow of that whole chapter. Who comes in, who comes out, you know, who you need to panic if they die, and, you know, there we had a little panic moment, but fine, got through it. Too bad not to see the red vest, but all in all, very nice coming into Son of... Son of a Gun here, Son of Sun fight. A very hard fight that I haven't done in a long time. Oops, I am doing this extra, aren't I? Yes, I definitely am. Yeah, that's a lot of time lost to do that extra. I might, I might have done that a couple times extra. <laughs> Jeez. It's a long little, little cutscene you trigger there. Well, unfortunately, we gotta go get the red plate. Which is not good. It's at least 30 seconds of time loss here. But that's okay. That is okay today. One, two, three. Uh, I'm pretty sure that was here, actually. Um, the red vest. Yes, there it is. And so now we can go get our speed capsule. No. Are there, sir? There we go. This is for the uh, the speed capsule. Da -na -na -na. Go talk to the elder real. Oh, that's right. This is the jerky. Take it for free. Yeah. And then to the future. <clears throat> for the Sun Temple time. I remember this fight went miserably last time. I forgot even how to do it. Alright. Ayla, Magus, Luca. Okay. Equipment. Ayla, you get the red... Vest. Okay. Robo, the Shala's amulet. Yep, Magus, you get the silver earring, Luca, Taben's helm, Taben's suit, and the speed belt. Okay. 
<clears throat> well. Oh no! God damn it, auto battle. Fuck you. This is a reset, actually. So, sorry, guys. Uh, well, I mean, maybe I. Very, very not happy with what I just did there. Um. Okay. Yeah, this is probably a reset here for me. Um, Barrier Sphere on Ayla. Okay, Flamethrower. We'll try to push it, but I'm just- that was a major fuck-up. The auto battle put two people straight into a counterattack. So that was a major bad moment. Okay, we have four in here now. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's high potion uh, Magus, and then we'll do the thing here. I gotta like play. I gotta play a healer here for a sec. Normally, would never do this. So we have four total. See if we're 50-50 lucky. Five. Six. Seven, are you dead? Eight. Okay, high potion on you. High potion on Ayla. We only need two more, so as long as I can see one here, we should be fine. No! No, it's a random one, and it's I, I picked the wrong option there. Come on, honey. Damn it! <sighs> Didn't get the 50 50. Ah. Uh, all coming apart of the seams here now. Uh, high potion on. Uh, Magus K. High potion. I can't, can't lose you. I basically lost a cycle there. What I need is full ATB. That would be the smart thing to do. There we go. Okay, well played, sir. Well played. Now, come on. Just give me give me an easy one and we're out of here. Give me an easy one and we're done. Just don't make it these two over here. Good. So now we're, we're through. All right. Good. Good, good, good. So that is nine. And that is ten. And now we just let it die. Oh, no! Uh, I mean, it's already over, but God, guys. It's funny, it says losing the, uh, losing its light, but you still can attack it. It kind of tries to debate, in a way. But, uh, nice! Got through the Son of Sun first try. Very shaky. Literally, was trying to remember what was going on. You know, while I was, uh, in the fight, which is always nerve-wracking. Good. Love to see a one and done. Hey, Kichi. How you doing, my Sea of Stars friendo? We're going to the prehistory. Oh, I forgot to split. Shit. Didn't lose a whole lot of time there either. Very nice. to the present time. What a happy Wednesday, my friend. Good to see you. Gotta enter. This is all routing for a minute. Yeah, checking that the Moonstone was stolen. Ayla's very mad about that. Okay. Shining house time.
for our good friend the mayor. And then right back. To the future right quick to see what we have that has been left here over time. And hopefully we're going to find a wonder shot and some sunglasses at Lucas' house due to getting all this. Well, cheers to you, big doggy. Good to see you back. Just in time for the exciting finish. Could be under an hour to go. What a fun, comfy run tonight. Great, great stream. Great, great game. Great run to come back to after... Two days of being sick as a dow. Am I right or am I right? Nothing comfier I feel than Chrono Trigger. And so we're gonna go do Nordstein Beckler's House of Horrors here. Do I have the gill? 31,000? Do you need 32 or is it 30? I'm trying to remember. Okay, left arm, right arm, laugh, and surprise. Okay. I might do ten on purp- or eight on purpose here. Surprise, number one. Surprise, number two. Left arm, number three. Left arm, number four. Laugh number five. Left arm number six. It might be 32,000. Surprise number seven. If you do double, and that's number eight, I believe it's in half. Let's see. So I fail on purpose. I think he's going to ask for five. Oh, ten. Yeah, ten G then. Okay. I bet it is 30,000. I just didn't remember. It might, it might be 32. Okay, go get our doppeldog. Our... Prize for doing that. The Norstein Beckler's House of Horrors. Da -na -na -na. All right, Marley, uh, Magus, and Frog. Uh, battle speed to three. Magus, you get the Gloom Cape and the Berserker Ring Frog, the Guardian Bangle. High Potion Magus to full, and you'll notice everyone's at 1 HP, preparing for Yacht for the 13th fight coming in here next. And so Rest Tyrano, we wanted to be at 1 other than Magus. Same for... Same for this fight as well. Yeah, it has been a good chill run today. Nope. The kind of run you want when you're still, you know, 75% after, uh, after the flu. Oh, shit, what did I forget? Uh, my bad. Gotta go up three floors. One, two, three, and talk to the courtroom guards. Yeah. You know, one death today to Black Tyrano that probably tried to push too hard for on the, the battle speed. That's all good. It's all good. Love the music as it cues up here. This is the Return of the Ocean Palace music, my fave. Da -da. One, two, and three. 
Hmm. Guess I'll just win. <laughs> I let go of Flea and I hadn't played yet. That might be not much slower to win. Not not important to win. No! The game just crashed on me. Hold on, pause the timer. I said today I wanted an accurate split. Sorry, guys. Just had a crash. D don't worry, I paused the game. I mean, the timer. And so we'll just start it as soon as we get back to there. But uh, that happened earlier, Ramza, and I was like, uh oh. Well, we better prepare for what occurs in case it happens today. That's not a no. Chill out, chat. We're, we're right here. Oh, but hold on, the game isn't loading now. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's a black screen when I load it. Come on, game. We're all here for a run. Nice! Alright. So we'll just restart the timer when we uh, get into the out of the courtroom. Right here! Nice! There we go, chat. Can't escape! Oh, you have to kill these? Oh, gotcha. I forgot you have to kill those. Interesting. And to skip our two vipers here. I'm gonna get some safety stuff for the run as well. That I believe is an elixir and a turbo ether. Why? What happened to the game vault? Oh, it's always like that. I don't know why I forgot. Just gotta wait out the Naga there. And now we'll get a couple safety things. Turbo Ether, and I think an elixir there. Hey, Knights of the Calculadora. How you doing, my friend? And we are ready to rock and roll Yakra. Hell yeah. And hopefully have a solid fight with everyone on 1 HP. Should be good. You just haste Magus, auto-battle your brains out while you pray for Magus crits. That's it. Don't worry, I'm kind of there with you in a sense. I had the flu for the last two days. I did nothing but sleep. And so my schedule was a mess, too. Oh, it killed Marley! Ooh, that's not supposed to happen. I forgot to... Oh, these notes don't have the new formation here. So, chat, hang on, hang on to your, your seat. We might not survive here. We need crits. And we might not actually win. And so I'm attacking with Frog on purpose, because Frog can do some decent damage. And without the haste on Magus, we are quite likely to die. Unless we get some crits. And I haven't seen a single crit yet. At the very least, we'll lose time. So there's 242. We can take one more of those. And then that's it. No moss. We must win now. Then we're dead. Yeah, so it could not win. Oh, but yeah, it's, that's a game over. It has to be a game over, right? Yeah, with everyone dead. So that's too bad. That is the notes. Uh, I, I had to remember this by heart last time because it's not in the notes. I guess we're locked into the fight, too. Are we? Are we locked into the fight here? Now that's fine. We can survive it, but yeah, we're locked in. 
So the, this note set doesn't uh, say what actually was figured out later on in the routing. That Marley needs to be where Frog is. And this note set doesn't say that. Uh, so that got that got me in trouble there. That's a D-Rest thing. I remember I used to just know by heart that this note set was incorrect and you had to fix it. So we're going to be praying here. Uh, we're going to be praying for Crits Adam Magus. There's nothing else I can possibly do. Now, it's not that hard to survive this fight, chat. Not that hard at all, actually. And so, Marley will die. And so, I'll just go all in with Frog now, and, uh, really need the... Really need the, uh, crits to come, Magus, sir. All we really need, I think, is a couple. <clears throat> There's one out of Frog, although we prefer the one out of Magus. So, Magus, come on, we're looking at you here. Nada. 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 Okay. Low roll. That might mean we survive the final attack now. Nice, we'll survive the final attack now. As long as it's not a high roll. Okay, crit, and did no! God damn it, he got more turns off. So there's nothing I can do here, guys. We're locked into this fight, unfortunately. Unfortunately. And so, if Magus is not gonna crit, I can't win. But I will get us through here. I just would like him to start critting, please. This is not that unlikely. Well, it's just the auto battle show. No more I can do here. <clears throat> I mean, I could actually uh, high potion with Frog, but for example... Hmm. I could high potion Frog for a little bit to keep him alive. But... I, I don't know. That might actually might be the play here. I might have no choice but to do like a backup. Strat. And then to High Potion Magus, maybe. And then we, uh... And then we need Frog to die, is what we need now. Okay, not on... Not on there. Good, so now, although, that's not really good, actually. Is that the win? Yeah, okay. So that got us through. That got us through the fight. Alright. Well, we found a way through it, even though we were locked into it. I'd like to see that. And we should be fine now. So that's just, you know, another nice reminder. That this note set... I, I really ought to edit it, is what I ought to do. It should, what does the note say? The note say it should be Marley Magus Frog. That needs to be... I believe... Frog, Magus, Marley. Is yeah, that needs to be Frog, Magus, Marley. Well, it's not built-in time save. This is not going to be a PB. This is a D rest, obviously. But just uh, you know, that's just unfortunate that the notes that got in trouble there is what it is. Alrighty, oh shit, my notes are totally not ready for- Oh yeah, it's Melchior. <laughs> Jeez. Hey, Jerrica, how you doing? 
And so down to the basement to go see our weapon smith Melchior. Get the three prismatic helms, the prismatic specs, and the rainbow. There's the helms, very nice. We have a Marley emote. <clears throat> oh no, we don't, you're right. We do not have a Marley emote, yeah. I think it was Silly Dabbit and Kesulos who made all of our, uh, our Chrono Trigger animated emotes. Maybe we should ask them if they can do a Marley one. I think you would probably do like a Marley Mad, right? Where she does her classic hand on the hips, mad, at the party. I'm not sure what other Marley animated emotes you have at your, at your disposal there. Yeah, that would be a really cute one. Or the jumping up and down. Does she have a jumping up and down one? Maybe she does. And to the future chat. <clears throat> the Keeper's Dome. Yeah, we're gonna go say hi to our boy, boy New real quick. How have you been, Jerrica? Hope all the runs have been treating you well. Little, uh, little magic capsule. Magus and Robo. Wonder Gun, Prismatic Helm, the Sunnies, Magus gets the Prism, Robo gets the Prismatic Helm, the Aeonian, and the Speed Belt. And let's go. Really love Death Peak. Fun sec. Oh! Oh, I. What was I doing? I forgot. I was thinking of the opposite. <laughs> That was really funny. I don't know why, I was like waiting for it to speed up. <laughs> that was really funny. Hmm, of course you go and it's slowed down here. Oh, never mind, this is for the strength capsule to get here. Yeah. I, I was wondering why I'm going to the right and I actually forgot. There's a capsule to get. Okay. That is the what. And go. We are, yeah, enamored with the scenery, sure. We could go with that. Well, that whole tree is quite the buffer. This is a fight you, you just kind of hope you'll get, and uh, there I have, we have made it consistent in the past. You have to have a very consistent cycle, is what you have to have. Eh, ah, I couldn't get through that one either. That one does, I just forgot what the setup of that one is. Wait until it loads, and then right into upright, okay. Of course, the deeper in we get, the more of this I will be forgetting. It has nothing to do with PBR, just forgetting. For obvious reasons. And the fire tackle. Because we don't do runs very often anymore. 
And the fire tech. And so there we go for the first Lombo spawn. Gotta get the Gigatron arm. Couple encounter skips in here. Do we get that chest? I don't believe we do. Just need to be careful to not get an encounter here. No, no, no. Uh, in in Chrono Trigger Battler, 100% means you're doing 100% of the chapters. It's a uh, different kind of definition of 100%. This is the one you can escape from. <laughs> I just killed a fight I didn't need to kill, by the way. That was funny. I totally forgot that this the second one that you skip. And uh, that one was an escapable fight. Yeah, extra EXP. I wonder if that means I could not... You know, I could decide not to kill one of these. I wonder. So we do this fight five times. I wonder if that means I can skip one of these fights. I wonder if I try and find out. I wonder if I fuck around and find out today. It would be bad if I'm wrong. <laughs> that would be bad if I'm wrong. That was number one. Here is number two. Probably not a good day to fuck around and find out. Hey, you're blues. Good to see you. Third fight. We'll see if he gets barrier. This is the fourth. <clears throat> boom, 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 boom. Uh, I didn't see Barrier on Magus, so I think we decide to... We decide to be good. I know, I, I would have loved to, Big Dow, but... I think without Barrier on Magus, you probably are behind here. So it must be that these Blood Yokes have more... ...than uh, all Lavo spawn. Because there... Ah, I didn't see it. Maybe we did already have it on Magus. Maybe we did. Interesting. I think I might have been... You might have been the... You might have been the, the right one there. I think. You're procrastinating from making a... Key to your study schedule guide. Well, welcome in. I'm procrastinating, too. From... I don't know what, but I'm procrastinating from recovering from my cold. I'm here streaming for you, I guess. So there we go for Lombo Shell, Robo, Ayla, uh, Robo, Ayla, and Frog. Okay. Uh, is he gonna make that? Yeah, okay. Not a bad death peak. Little, the funniest part, the, the issue was at the bottom of the Death Peak, remembering that there was a strength capsule over there. Yeah, glad you appreciate my Tifa Link. Well, we got the, the Geno Dome to do. Quick little retinite section for Mel Finks, and it's time to end the run, guys. Well, we gotta do Ozzy's for it. For our triple tech. Couple little cleanup things to do. Mother Brain's not 
not tiny though. Mother, the genodome and the mother brain. That's a big, that's a big section. And if it goes smooth, that'll be the more important thing. Lucky sevens in the Florida Kentucky game. You're you're rooting for Florida, I got to imagine, JC. Good luck, man. Good luck. Obviously, you're you're rooting for Florida. Yeah. A Florida alumni, gotcha. <clears throat> oh wow, you're going out of town to see Distant Worlds this weekend, Blues? Well, enjoy. I saw it last year, and... Uh, have you seen it before, or is this your first time? As cheers to that. And cheers to us. Like, honestly, probably, probably well under an hour to go now. Okay. Uh, yes, let's go. <clears throat> Should have been Robo Magus Luca, though. Uh, going shit to the future. Yes. Da na 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 da da na na na. Didn't quite have my notes up. Oh, I didn't heal either. I do have an extra shelter, though. And it should have been Party, uh, Robo, Magus, and Luca. And there we go. Dana, 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 Dana. Well, this is the Ice 2 goes Burr strat. It's funny we don't use Lightning 2 in an area like this, you know, where they're all machines. God, it had to miss it, so you're on the Redemption arc. Well, I know you're gonna have a great time. I'm sure Sub will show you a great time as well. Da -da -da. I can tell Subliminal's a guy who knows how to knows how to show a lady a good time out on the town. It's just got that just got that got that vibe. To oh, this was your gift to him, so you're gonna be the one showing a good time. Alright. Well big expectations writing on you boys. Exciting. All right, gotta go do this. Okay, <clears throat> I believe now we go back up here. I'm getting there, Rums. I'm like 75%. I can tell by tomorrow I will be one hundo, and man, I'll be so excited to be there. I'll be so excited to be there. I believe we go back here and fight these guys. Basically clear the section here. And now do the electrification. Dana. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Let's go. Alright, this is the tight one. Like, very tight. So tight that you have to be pretty much perfect here. They already have made it. Ooh, I'm not gonna make it. I promise you, I'm not making it. Hey! Made it, let's go. 
extra couple ethers because I had to use a couple today. I wouldn't even get those normally. Those are very safe. Those are very safe. And so time now to bring our buddy with us. Come on, buddy. Da -na -na -na. Da -da. Da -da -da. We're gonna go get our strength, ca strength, speed, whatever the capsule is here. I think that said speed. Oh, look at that! Look at the efficiency. Doing all that where our friend Doe was still moving. Look at this guy go. Uh, this way? I hope this is correct. I have... feeling like I'm forgetting something. Uh, Magus, get the power glove. Robo, the Gigatron, and the Prism Specs. Inventory, two speed on Robo. Three magic. On Luca. Nice smooth section, so far. Magus should have learned Dark Mist there. I've got to imagine he already did. And so it's our Atropofa. Oh, I didn't see you going to bed, Ramza. Enjoy the lurk. Thanks for the 10 gift subs. I appreciate you. And enjoy your rapid-fire fisting of Prometheus here. Yeah, this is a Prometheus, I believe is the name of Atropo, is that right? <clears throat> Never notice how Magus and Luca just fly out of there. Uh, rapid fire fisted by five, yep. Oh, Prometheus is Robo. I, you know, that's what I thought. When I said that, I, I immediately was like, wait a minute, that sounds wrong. That sounds wrong. Reminds you of Dine and Barrett? Yeah. I don't think that's a bad comparison. Well, speed belt on Robo, prism specs on Magus, two mid ethers Robo, and then I pot him up. You get the prism specs inventory, uh, high pot on you. And there we go. Magus still outspeeds Robo, so even though he's got a, you know, rapid-fire fist queued up, you're gonna get out the ice too there. And then Mother Brain is next. A really nice segment. Really nice. Well, Dark Mist out of Magus, rapid-fire fist out of Robo, and the bomb. The Megaton Bomb out of Luka. Missed fist in the bomb. That's the mindset here. Rapid fire fist. <clears throat> Megaton Bomb, Dark Mist. And there we go. What a nice time save in that chapter. Almost 40 seconds in there. That was a really, really well done Mother Brain. Yeah, the later in the run is where you expect for a D-Rust, the things to go worse. So for things to go really good, in a chapter is delightful. Na, na, na. Well, 
Well, once we're through the desert, we're, we're ready to end the run. We are ready to end the run. Hey, Krim, good to see you, my friend. Hope you're having a great Wednesday. <clears throat> well, Retinite's always a tough fight. Always a tough fight. It's a very tricky fight, actually. It's not that hard, it's just one I always remember. I really need to, like, be prepared for it. And once I run through it once, then... Then it's like, oh yeah, easy fire, okay. But this will be interesting to see if I, I mess this up. You get the power glove, Robo, you get the crisis arm, and the prism specs. We're gonna try to heal you to a good amount. And can't do it, okay, so it is what it is. Mid ether on Robo, and gotta go, okay. Well, rapid fire fist the lower by two. Okay. Well, there we go <clears throat> for that. Okay, rapid fire fist the lower. Rapid fire fist the lower. Okay, uh, mid ether robo here. Well, I will wait for that actually. Okay, mid ether robo there. Is that gonna kill the core? No. Is that gonna kill the core? Yes, it is. Okay, rapid fire uh, fist. Okay, what is going on here? Uh, 104, yep, we will need to do that. Mm, I mean, maybe that could help me, actually. Yeah, that put, uh, put him on zero, god damn it. That's gonna do literally nothing. Thank you, game. The one number that would literally do nothing there. Okay, what is he at? Yeah, high pot. Okay. So that is a dead Luca. I think I do care about that. Actually. And there we go. All right. Well, not a great fight. But uh, got through it nicely, actually. I think this is a high ether. I'm gonna take that today. I am gonna take that today. We'll get our strength capsule here. There it is. Hell of a day, so relaxing for the night. Oh, I'm glad to hear that, man. Glad to hear you're, you're done and relaxing. Uh, Ozzy's for it, yeah. Alright, exciting stuff. Are we really good here? I mean, we're, we're so hurt, I think I need to uh, shelter. I have a shelter, I can blow here. Oh, never mind. Yeah, we were supposed to shelter, okay. Robo with the blue gemstone. Luca, the prism specs. You with the sunnies. All three at the bottom. I remember that. And we should have our triple tech. That's the whole reason why you do Ozzy's Fort. 
but you don't kill Ozzy. It takes a long time, and you need to come back later with the triple tech. So we should be able to see the debut of Omega Flare here. Yep, there it is. And then the Megaton Bomb to the Ozzy's face. Always feels so satisfying, too. And there you go. Bomb diggity. Love to see the Omega Flare for the first time. <laughs> I almost forgot with Switch. I don't know if it matters with Switch. It may not, but I think you need to hit the left one. Uh, you know, sometimes you win some, and sometimes you sleep on the couch, Snow Leopard. What can I say? I guess you learned your lesson the hard way. And the real hero, the kid. Coming in to save the day. Hey there, Torin BB. Good to see you. Hope you've been well, my friend. I'll get some safety stuff here. Just one. I think I have plenty of safety inventory, to be honest. Not too concerned about the rest of the game. As all we got left is the Black Omen. And we see all the work that Robo's done for us. He's been enshrined, he cultivated the desert, I believe, turned it into a lush forest. And here he is, being honored for his godly gifts of arboreal awesomeness. He is a robro. Yeah. Yes, he is. I can move, I just was stuck. <laughs> I saw Luca shaking her head, I was like, what What are you shaking your head at, Luca? <laughs> She's trying to say, hey P-Town, you idiot, I'm stuck. Get me out of here, you bum. <laughs> that was funny. As what is the password chat? Anyone know it before I put it in for the prize of self-respect? Lara. L-A-R-A. No, not Jimmy. Nice try, though. Is Lara Luca's mother? Is that why you say mommy? I don't know what Lara refers to. I forget. Been long enough. I don't remember.
Ayla, you get the speed ring and shelter it up. Black Omen time. Rock and roll. Let's go. Love this part. <clears throat> that should be straight up to the Black Omen. Always a super fun ending. A lot of triple tech being shown off through here. A lot of encounter skips, but a lot you can't skip through. At a certain point, you, you can't skip any, and you have to take every fight. This is Mega Mutant. We're gonna show him our triple tech. See how he likes that. Escape from that fight. Skip that fight. Put on charm here. That way we're ready for the charming of the panel fights upcoming here. And here... For the golden earring. No, nothing. So what we do in this fight... <clears throat> unfortunate, we didn't get the steal. Wow, and a straight up killed her. Lovely. Uh, okay, a high potion. Ayla, then. Uh, you have to redo it. There's nothing you can do here. Just have to redo the fight. And of course, I didn't know she'd be on. And what is. Got the golden earring. Okay, so we can flee. And now continue on for the double... The double uh, speed capsule that we need here. So hopefully it goes better. No! Why was auto battle on? Come on, game. Four attacks. Four attacks. That's my bad. Uh, charm. Okay. I don't know why that was the case. Oh, bad. Bad here. Very bad here. Uh, okay, let's mid potion Luca. Come on. Okay. And there we can now flare for the win. So we need one more speed capsule and then we're through. Now you have no choice here. These are capsules you must have, so they could feel pretty icky as she fails the charm. But, uh, here we go. God, another miss. Ouch. That's an ouch. Come on, Ayla. Get it done. There we go. And the flare. Okay. And so, pretty bad. Bad stealing. That was not a single good fight there out of the three. She ain't no charmer tonight. Yep. Ain't no charmer. Okay, gotta wait for the eyes to close. You can run forward there. And this fight we take. Okay, uh, high ether Luca. Uh, two speed capsule go to Luca. Two strength the Robo. Isla for Magus. Okay. Nice skip there. Very good. Cannot skip this one. These are my elevators. Yeah, this is the random elevator. That can be zero, one, two, or three. Chat zero, one, two, or three. I would love a zero. I don't know about. Oh, it's the other side. Shit. They are alternate left and right. I thought this one was right. 
But God, would a guy love zero? Not our, not on our fate today. So the Gato fight, okay. So we've had one fight. We're getting a second. Nice, I figured out how to get a first turn here nice and easy. Just gotta auto battle both of them. Because Luca's not the fastest, Magus is here. Although I feel like she might be supposed to be the fastest. That could be an issue, actually. I don't think so there. I think that Magus is supposed to be the fastest still. Um, hold on. <laughs> there is a skip here. Um... There, that's it. Okay. <laughs> I, had to I had to look up that one in the notes, actually. Mega Elixir? Whatever that is, Nova Armor. Whatever that is. Whatever that is. And then a Blubber Hulk that we escape from. You don't want to. You don't want to attack these guys either. As they do have a count. Another one we have to flee from. Can't escape. I don't know why I'm turning off final battle. That's literally a smart thing. Nice, got through there. This is a skippable fight. I remember I had to test this one out a lot to make it work, though. Hey, got it today! Very nice. And these are unskippable fights. God, stop turning off auto battles, sir. <laughs> you can try to wait them out, but you'll almost always lose more time waiting them out. Now, Blubber Hulks, I do not want... Ah. Actually, that's not a Blubber Hulk. Probably should have decided to attack the guy. Oh, that is the Blubber Hulk that has a counter. Okay, we need to heal the party. Uh, give me mid potions up here. Okay, let's we'll blow what we can. Have to see what the eye is doing. Get the speed capsule and avoid the fight. Another speed capsule here. Da na na na. Da na na na. Yeah, but the question you should be asking yourself is, how hard is it to get the alluring top? And the answer is probably very hard, so there would be no reason to get it in the run. You know, it's probably quite out of your way, so when you're thinking about things like that to route into a run, you know, you gotta consider, well, how much time might it take to get that item? And it's not worth it. Uh, shoot, yep, but you have a menu here. Okay, Robo, you get the Haste Helm, the Nova Armor, the Gold Nearing, Magus, the Blue Gemstone. Uh, two speed go to Luca, one goes to Robo. Okay, and we're good. For Giga, maybe. Yeah, a little bit of time lost through here, mostly from the Charming. I think I've done really well, just the Charming's been a little tough here. Uh, Omega Flare. I think Robo is now our fastest uh, character, actually, now that we gave a speed capsule to Robo. <clears throat> and so we've kind of flipped the script on who is our, our fastest. 
And so another elevator with random fights that we're going to hope are Gucci. Love it when it's a nice zero, right? Lucky, but better lucky than good. Oh, I forgot to mid-ether Luca. She was not faster than Magus. I don't like that at all. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be the case here. Pretty sure that I've done everything correctly in terms of that. Nice! Only the one fight. Excellent. Good! She is the fastest. Okay. I was a little nervous about that. And because we have to kill every fight, and the intent is you want Luca to always be... Inventory, high ether, uh, always be the fastest here. Nice bat skip. Oh, yeah, Magus was faster there. Seems like they have an, an equals <laughs> equals uh, speed stat, actually. Uh, high pot. A uh, little weird day today on that. Indicating a speed a speed that might have been a little inappropriately given. You'll notice Magus did go first there again. It's gonna be okay. There's not really much I turbo after like this fight, so it shouldn't matter really. That is a speed capsule. So hopefully that fixes whatever that issue is when we give it to the person that uh, we're gonna give it to. Da -na -na -na. Da -na -na -na. I potion up for the Lavo spawn fight. This is all about the rapid fire fist at a robo. Damn, you've had a fun night tonight, JC. At least after your car ride. What is that? I don't remember that move at all. Okay, let's go in high potion uh, Magus then. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and high potion you, rapid fire fist you, attack you. Robo needs to be at full health, though, and he's not at the moment. Ah, that still didn't get him to full. Okay, I will elixir you then, sir. We're gonna make sure you're full. This is gonna be a topped-off rapid-fire fist. There we go. Very nice. And through Lavo spawn in a nice fight. Okay. Man, yeah, okay, something's a little off. This is a flare fight. This might be my final fight. Uh, I, I gotta be concerned about, like, <laughs> Luca being faster here. All right, kind of final menu of the run, really. Shelter up, inventory, the speed goes on Magus. Okay, it's probably a good thing. And it should be Robo, Luca, Magus. Okay. Uh, for shelter and go. Final fights coming in on here. 
Is that right? Damien's back in Portland for the first time this year, JC. They got the new coach, Doc Rivers, coming back into town for it, too. Exciting. Exciting. Numero uno. Yeah, I think he beat, uh, he beat out, of course, the legendary Clyde Drexler. I think he's our all-time assist leader, too. Alright. Mammon Machine is... Mm, Omega Flare by 4. Oh, <laughs> Mega Elixir, sir. Hope that didn't give me any problem. Number two. Number three, and I'm assuming I can still get this off, no problem. Yeah, good, didn't matter. Okay. Of course, the real fighter. The the third phase queen zeal fight. And so Magus High Ether Luca for the double allows for the double bomb out of Robo. Magus bomb it, Robo bomb it. And we're always gonna see a halation, which is a AoE one HP for the party. <clears throat> so here we go. Magus should be on the item to insta queue up the high ether. Okay, uh, high ether on Luca. Double bomb. Uh, no, not Omega Flare. Uh, Dark Bomb, yep. I was wondering where the halation was. There it is. Double bomb. Who's this going to be? Robo. Uh, Turbo Ether, Robo. The win? Nice. Excellent day. Well, time to end the run. We got the boss Blitz coming in next, and then Lavo's time. The man himself. Fun run tonight. Much better run than the last D rest we did a couple weeks back. Been a fun one. Been a real fun one. The last one neared in at the five hour mark. That was how rusty it was. Nice to see from one run to the next, just a couple weeks, but, you know, having done a run fairly recently, it is looking a little more professional today. <clears throat> this has been a solid, solid run, really. Coming in right about the 430 mark is what it's looking like. Am I going to run this again soon? Do you mean, like, grind it? Or do you mean, am I going to do one run again soon? As uh, I've been doing a run a week, I just uh, 
I've been doing a sub goal for it. You guys gotta knock out a sub goal to see a CT run. Chrono, Luca, and Ayla. For the Falcon Strike. Well, that was a Dragon Tank as we send off all of our bosses in a very ceremonial ending here. Uh, Falcon Strike, no! There you are. <clears throat> Luca out speeding, my boy. This is Hecran, Luca Flare. Oh, uh, yeah. Zombor is an Ayla. Well, someone Falcon Strike. Time to bring in the big boys again. Two Mid-Ethers on Luke. This is Masa and Mune. Now for Nisbel, Lightning 2 and Omega Flare. Sunny's on Magus, Gemstone on Robo. Fire is Luca Flare. the win. <clears throat> no? Oh, that... that killed? That's hilarious. That was just short enough that <laughs> that robo killed it. <laughs> With 200, love that. Uh, Turbo Ether, uh, Luca. Uh, Luca Flare. This is Black Tyrano. We're gonna wait until lowers defense here. And then bust out the Omega Flares. Number two out of three. Giga de Gaia up next. Ooh, I'm out of mid ethers. Okay, give me an elixir on Magus. Got a lot of extras of those today. No mid ether for Luca. Let's just uh, elixir. High potion, everyone up. Let's go. Omega flare by dose. Uh, 
And there we go. We're into the final fight, guys. That's it. That is it. GG. Well, save point time. Shelter it up. Make sure our speed is on a nice speed. A slow speed today. Let's go seven. I just want to make sure the run finishes nice and comfy. Last time I died here. All right. For, for beginners, Athenian Water Robo. He's a daddy boy here. Luca Mega Elixir. And then Magus Omega Flare, Robo Omega Flare. Okay. Well, here we go. Final boss. Two phase boss, though. Okay, Mega Elixir. Omega Flare, Robo Omega Flare. Robo Fire Attack with the right arm. Elixir on Luca. Uh, Dark Will. I was gonna say, gotta wait that out, right? No, Mega Flare by four now. <clears throat> Number one. Number two. Attack's coming in hot here. Number three. And number four, now into Lombo's core. Final fight. Good job. Good job, guys. That's where we died last time. All right. Nice fight. I love this final fight. It's an interesting, though. It can really make you work for it. And if your inventory is low, you can die here. It can also be pretty free. But I like how the final boss fight in Chrono Trigger definitely is one you're, you're always having to react to. And it is a tough fight. Great music. Intense. Let's go. Okay, not a great damage there. <clears throat> is that enough to kill? Yes, it is. Omega Flare. I didn't see defense down there. Omega Flare by two. No, boulder! That means we're dead. Uh, okay, we're gonna have problems now, then. Uh... Okay, Athenian water, and... I believe I Mega Elixir here, but I know there's more boulders coming, I think. Omega Flare by two here. Okay, Omega Flare. Got through it, actually. Pods revive. Need defense down. Did he not do defense down? I'm just gonna go, I guess. I guess he didn't. Yeah, he didn't. 
Oh, I fucked up. Okay, Omega Flare. I auto battled Robo there. Oh no. Oh no, chat. We're in trouble here. Uh, okay, Athenian Water. Oh no. And Mega Elixir. Okay, okay, good, good. We're fine. Got us out of it. Low on Mega Elixirs, though. Nice! Lower defenses, good. Almost there. Almost there. Nice! Let's go, baby! Nice run. Brought it home with no death at the end. Nice, almost 30 minute improvement over the, the last D rest we did, which was around the five hour mark. You know, this one more around the 4.30. Nice to see without any prep. We can just kind of start just getting a little better. You know, bringing it home a little, little more professional. You know, hopefully the next one is a little bit more professional than that. And, you know, maybe when I'm recovered from the flu and I'm not... Not feeling 75% instead of 100, you know. And I think it'll be even better. Hope you guys enjoyed your Chrono Trigger tonight. We're back after three days off of the flu. And so you guys can expect streams every day going forward, as is the usual around here. Hey, Bayleaf, how you doing? Well, as I think I want to maximize my time tonight and, you know, treat myself well as I'm still sick, I think that uh, we are going to probably not watch the ending tonight. We'll watch this, but once we get through the, the, uh, once we get through the festival, I think we will call it GG tonight. Yeah, I am feeling better. If I can run a 432 on no prep, I think we're looking looking good, feeling good, smelling good, just all around. Looking looking good today. And so we're gonna raid a friend of the channel, Nerdad TPC, who is watching the special event, PlayStation State of Play. So if you guys missed it, you can check it out. And after they're done, they're going right into FF7. So it should be a lot of fun around the Nerdad channel. I do appreciate you guys hanging out tonight. Thanks for all the sub support. Big shout out to Ramza. Big shout out to Big Doggy. Hope you guys have a good one. I'll see you tomorrow. We'll be back Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. To infinity, baby. I am P-Town. You guys rock. Take care.